Hey, it's Anna. Welcome. Welcome back to my Monday evening jewelry sale. And tonight is vintage jewelry extravaganza. I have a lot of vintage jewelry from the estate, ma'am. I didn't go out shopping again. I have enough. I have enough. And I can offer it starting at good prices because he gave me he gave me a great deal um, on what I got so I could start some good prices for you guys. Hi, Gemma. Antoinette. And hi, Kathy. All right. I will get started like 20 after. And if there's anything you want to see and you don't feel like being up real late, ask me. I have no problem with that or if you have somewhere else to go. It's been a crazy wild since uh, I'll sneak a picture and. Okay, I'm going to show a picture when I'm on for a while sneaking. I was asked not to show the pictures. You know, it's not my baby. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, she's adorable. Hi, April. Um, you know, you'll see how she's really cute. She's a really cute baby. I'll show her um, when we're on for a couple, you know, a little while in the middle. But, um, yeah, I got some compacts. I, mid-century, I think, on all of them, like, they don't have names on them, which is weird. I have a carry-all. And I have a mink. The mink compact is pretty cute. Um, some people are offended by hair. But this is from the 50s, I believe. Maybe a little bit. Let me look at it. 50s or 60s. Okay. Could be my guess. Look at the pronging the way it's there, but it's not. You know what I mean? Um, it's cute, though. This one's made in the USA. And it looks good. Anyways, I, I have um, I have a fan when somebody asked me about that. She didn't answer me. She can't come. Let me see. If she, she didn't say anything about it. I guess she's passing. So I'll offer to fan to. And yeah, got a variety of different types of things. But I'll wait for a few minutes to see if a couple people come on. More people. But I, um yeah, I was at the hospital since Thursday. I took my daughter to her gynae and they did the exam. And they, um, hi, Linda. Baby, so cute. Um, they they caused her to start to dilate a little bit, and there was some bleeding. So we went to the hospital, and they kept her in induced labor. And we were there for 30 um, since uh, 1 p.m. on Thursday until 8.08 p.m. Um, Friday. That's when she had her baby. She's really fantastic. Hey, guys, you have this one here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, she's pretty cute. Um, she's still in the hospital. There's there's uh no ish the baby's healthy and everything was just time I'm monitoring that was needed. She was born a little small, but she's healthy. Um yeah, thank you. Third. I have three. I have a Leo. Um Leo's Eva's age. Uh, a little bit younger, seven months younger. Leo will be 14 in September. He's 13. And that's my oldest grandson of Crystal's son. And then Crystal is a fantastic baby that a lot of people have seen. He's super cute. I miss him. But it's okay. He'll be back. We'll work him back in. I'll care for him again soon as well. Um, but the baby will be coming home probably Thursday. Anyways, I have a good sale planned. I think it should be good. I have a lot of costume. Um, I have some stone. I have a couple of things from last week. I'm going to start a little bit lower just to move them on. Um, as long as I make a little profit, that it's better than nothing. So we'll move it on. I'm not going to hold on to it and hoard it. I can't do that kind of thing. It makes me crazy. She's doing good. She she did have a natural. Yeah. They gave her an epidural, and they gave her way too much. <laughs> not happy about that, but um, she's okay. She was just, it, they gave her too much. I don't know what they were thinking. Quite a lot of vintage costume guys. What do you think about that? Look at that. Yeah, she's um I will show a picture a little way. I'm waiting for a little way in. Guys, go out and tell anybody for any people watching you see my baby. <laughs> go tell them come look at the baby. Um midway through, I was asked not to share pictures, just completely insane. I did share it with a couple people. I couldn't stop myself from doing so. Um, because they'd asked. Well, they didn't ask, but um, well. Kind of. Anyways, um, there was communication going back and forth. But, yeah, I'll show her a little ways on. I don't know why my daughter, you know, thinks her boyfriend's a superstar or something. Um, No, I'm kidding. Anyways, <laughs> I will show her. She's pretty cute. She was six pounds. She's just absolutely adorable. She's a wee little, dainty, beautiful baby. Anyways, I'm here to sell jewelry. Eh, why don't you guys, you know, you, if you have babies, you have grandkids, you know how it is. So, oh my God, I, I went there today. I figured I'd be here a couple hours. Um, I don't know, it ended up being a six, eight-hour event, and I'm running home and I had to go get food. 
because I feed Eva, you know, I pick her up from school. I ended up being there a long time because Maury had things to do and I wanted to hold her. It's important for a baby to be held at this age, like almost constantly, in my opinion, in order to grow a bond in uh, security and um, comfort. But anyways, I should get started. I have a lot. You guys can just throw me through and start popping out what you would like to see. Anna's fine with that. I do. I have a variety of different things. This is a really beautiful necklace, surprisingly. It is. I don't know who made it. It has a really beautiful um, boy beads on it. And everything's glass and metal. Um, she's light. She's a little small. She's six pounds. Uh, Maury's tiny, though. She's 5'1". So, baby of six pounds and almost 19 inches. She's a nice, tiny little baby. Like, adorable, smart. And her name is Izzy Bell. I don't know, I'm allowed to say that. Izzy, it's not my child. It's my grandchild, though, right? She is going to be living here with me for a few months. Maury's going to um, home in here until she gets comfortable taking care of the baby. And we have house, like an apartment together for her and everything. We have to furnish it. It's going to take time. You know, it's not something that's like immediate. And plus, I want, I want the baby to be here with me. It's my first granddaughter. <laughs> Hi, Becky. And I, I raised three daughters. I love boys. Don't get me wrong, but. God, the baby's so dainty. Even when she sneezes, like little girl noises. Hachoo! Hi, Monica. Yeah, I have my... <laughs> um, Maury had her baby. Hi. I didn't advertise it. Maury asked me out to post pictures, so she's being real... Um, I can send it to you in Messenger. Okay, Monica, I will. Uh, she's being, like, private, like, extremely private. She doesn't want me to. But I'm going to show it a little ways in here and say because I want to. And she gave me permission for that. Um... It's, it's just, there's a reason for it. Um, it's her boyfriend. The reason he doesn't like it, he doesn't want it type of thing. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Thanks for coming. But um, she gave me permission. So in a little ways, I'll show it. But Monica, I'll send it through Messenger too in case you can't hang out. But anyways, that I am going to start with, maybe I should start with what's left over from last week at a discount. Is anybody interested? I don't have much. Well, I have two John Rivers. I'll start those a tiny bit little lower. I have to make some money. I have a big black blue sight and a big clear. Okay. Um, I have a fetish bird necklace with the 13 birds. Um, vintage Native American Navajo sterling necklace. And then I have the Israel star with uh, the amethyst. I, okay. If anybody was interested in that, ask me and I will show them. I'm not going to jump, pop them up if not. All right. Let me see. Yeah, she's just adorable. I got to get a rocking chair. She likes to be rocked. Like, my back hurts, honestly. She's not heavy, but like two hours nonstop. Like, <laughs> but it's fun. Um, oh, and I have the cats. I can start the cats a little bit lower. So, if anybody liked any of that stuff, um, it'll get uncovered and you'll see it. I'll start them a little lower than I did last week. But I have a check glass necklace that's Art Deco. I still have the Venetian necklace. I'll start that a little lower. Um, the Venetian art glass. Hi, hi. Hi, CK. Thank you for coming, everybody. Yeah, Monica, I'll message you tomorrow or something. I have, I, guys, I've had, like, barely no, I, anything I've been doing is sleeping. I haven't even gone and had my hair done. Oh, I might just come up with grandma, you know, let it all grow out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't feel real important right now. There's so much besides what my vanity um, for me right now. But what should I start on? Somebody tell me. Huh? No, okay. Um, these are beautiful. Does anybody like these? I'm going to be able to start them low. These are amazing earrings, actually. Look at them. Um, the ones look like honeycombs. Those are pronged. Like a Shriner, I don't believe they are. Yeah, thank you for coming. Stick around if you have time. Okay, um... I don't know. We're calling these honey counts. They're both nice. These ones have Japaning on them. I'll start off with these ones. I'll take these down. These are really nice. Look, beautiful cut glass. Okay. You like the honeycombs too? They are. They kind of look like, I don't think, I don't know all of Shriner. I don't know. I'll sell them though. I'm going to start throw them at the starting bit. I said I would. I don't care. I got a, I got a hell of a deal. Um, he sold me so much for so little. Um, so I'm going to carry it over because that's what you should do. Greed shouldn't overtake me. Okay. Um, these are fully pronged up top and beautiful cut glass. These are older. Not exactly sure if the exact 
dating on them. But you see they have the Japan and you see the findings over there. It's glasses. This, these pieces, the glasses, like, you know, that's put through the glass to hold that in place. And they're beautiful. The clips are good. They have Japaning on them. I don't see a makers more. Here, these will start at... I'll start them at 20. They're beautiful earrings. I, I don't think they're antique, but they're very old. The glass looks... Or crystal. I don't even know if it's crystal or glass. Okay, to be honest. Two and a half inches. Um, Let's look at them. I didn't really research anything. But they're beautiful earrings, and I know that. And at 20 bucks, that's, that's a great deal for these. These are really, really beautiful. Kathy's in at 20. I'll just show them another minute. They're older. I'm not exactly sure of the dating. They are well made, though. Like, that piece, it, it just clips in on the other side. It goes through there. It's They're just, they're cool. Cut glass. Patrick's at 23. Thank you. There's a chain. They hang Kathy's at 25. The other ones might be Shriner. Should I? I no, they're not. I'm selling honeycomb, too. I, I just can't stand if things hang out too long. They're beautiful. Look how they're cut. And it's a little bright in here, but they, let me make the light. Look. They're beautiful earrings. 30th, Kathy. I'm going to put them in front of pink or something. <laughs> All my busts are being used. I don't know I have this one. <laughs> I, just, I destroy them. I use these things until they're no longer. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, so you're out. These are beautiful. I'll call them. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy for 30. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick, for your bids and for letting me know you're out. Um, they're amazing earrings. I couldn't believe what I found in the box. I think it's, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to be generous. I don't know. Or it was his overkill, but he thought he couldn't sell. He's he sells mainly gold. He wants to gold. I guess that's why. But it's great for me. Yeah, I'm gonna show you Maury. Maury's doing good. Um, she she was a champ. Um, she managed a vet a natural birth. Well, she took medication. Okay, but still she delivered. I've never delivered. <laughs> I wanted to. I didn't have a baby the right way. Um, with any of mine. I tried with Maury. Her head was too big. Okay, this is kind of funny. Baby looks just like, well, not just like, she looks like, the, hi, Cheryl. Hi. Guys, I still have to get your packages out, okay? I am really sorry. The people of you, Kathy, yours is coming, Patrick, um, Yippee-I-O-A, and somebody else that paid the day of uh, Monday, I, 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 you guys get an extra gift. I usually put something in there, but there will be something else. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll try tomorrow. I'm trying. Baby will be out soon. I've been living at the hospital to come help Maury, come, you know, keep the baby comfortable. Okay. These are beautiful. I'm going to start to use the same price because why not? What the, was that? Did I just say something in there? Okay. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. You know, though, it'll come wrapped nicely and everything. It'll be in one of, in, in a big, UP, um, uh, priority box. All right. These ones are brass. These are beautiful chains. No markings as far as I could see, but absolutely beautiful. <laughs> they're about the same length. And um, they're two and a half inches. They're amazing pair of earrings too. This is, I think it's going to be a good place that I found. Maybe it's a lot. A lot of stuff. I'm going to go out to the regular thrift stores too tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to get up and get every, well, you know what? You're buying again. Okay. So um, Thursday. And I, I mean it, you, there may be something in there worth 50 bucks or something. Okay. I'll be surprised. I'm generous. And I want to be. <laughs> Guys, get something nice. We're waiting. Appreciate it. Thank you. No complaints from anybody. Um, 30th, Kathy. Thank you. But you know how it is when you have a baby born. It's like, and especially it's my daughter and I'm her main connect. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm most of her family besides her sister, if not all. I've been there a lot. Okay, 35 with Kathy. These mind you, they remind me of Honeycomb. Thank you, Patrick and Kathy, for your bids. 
They're really beautiful. I kind I tried to put a face on, guys. I'm gonna tell you what. <clears throat> I put a dress shirt on and I put on my opal. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> Be quite honest, I'm lucky I'm dressed. No, I'm kidding. I was at I was at the hospital all day. I had to go by my daughter um do um to something laxatives that they didn't have. Okay, the kind she wanted. 41 with Kathy, thank you. They do. They're beautiful. Though they're very well made. These are beautiful earrings. And look at the pearls on them. They're brass, they're nice. Okay, so um thank you, Patrick, for letting me know you're out. And thank you for your bids. They look great for as old as they are. This he told me the boxes were from somebody's estate. So most of this came all of this. And then I got a bought bag of stones. So that was not separate. All right. So thank you, Kathy. And Patrick as well for letting me know that you're out and for your bids. I'm gonna call them honeycomb earrings. All right. I got a lot of um a lot of I got this little crystal set. Let me show this. Um, somebody might be interested in getting a crystal set that, you know, doesn't have one or something or or whoever wants it. Um, it is clear crystal. And there are links in between every so often, as you can see. They're deliberately there. It's gold, gold tone or gold plated. These are clear crystals. They don't have a marking on them, so I can't say they're Swarovski. I, I know they're crystals. I can say that. They're nice, though. The earrings are, are, are pierced. Um, they have a nice drop. They look about three inches. You see they're clear. These are deliberately empty in between. Just make sure you know that. I'll measure them. It's a cute set. I'm going to start it cheap. Uh, it was in the box. All of it was. Um, two and a half inches on the earrings. i got to go see them again soon. All right. Um, two and a half on the earrings. Um, don't want to lose seven and a half on a bracelet okay hi rachel are you new if you're new and you want to buy just email me vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com if even if you just email and say hey this is rachel glennis if it's a different name i can ask you for the information from that point um or you can just send your paypal email address and the country in which you live and if your youtube name's different let me know it okay 25 inches on the necklace, seven and a half on the bracelet. See, it is clear crystal. I'm going to start this at 30, which is a really low price for this much uh, crystalness. Okay. You get the beautiful necklace. It is a, like I said, 25-inch crystal necklace. Okay. Yeah, thank you for being here. You have a lobster claw clasp, crystals, clear crystals on the necklace, the earrings, and hold on, I feel like I'm doing a really bad presentation showing it. Um, but there, it's the bracelet. So seven and a half on the crystals. And these are channel set um, and cut gemstone like cut crystals. Okay, it's a pair of earrings. Necklace and um, bracelet. Okay, I don't think there's any interest in this. That's okay. I'll just... Show it in case there is long earrings. You have the links in between. They are clips and they're three inches. All right. I think it's pretty. 25 inch uh, clear crystal necklace, bracelet, and earrings. Three inches on the earrings, and the bracelet is a seven and a half. You can wear it shorter. Because you have those open links. But Kathy's in it. 30. Thank you. It's a nice set. I think it is. I don't think it's Swarovski. Other people have crystal jewelry. Um, not everything's Swarovski. But, you know, I think I would at least see a marking on, like, the earring or something if it was. You know what I mean? Because I have the complete set. And they typically mark it with a swan. At least one piece of a set will be marked. Usually when you're getting the ones that aren't marked, it's like a set and then they're splitting, you know, they don't mark all of them. They're saving time because it's going through as a set type thing. All right. All right. No, I don't think you guys really needed all of that explanation. All right. All right. Sold to Kathy for 30 and five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. Thank you. It's nice. It's got a good weight to it too. It's not a chintzy, like cheap 
necklace or anything. It's just a nice, nice weighted necklace and stuff. It's just not Swarovski. 30 for the crystal, clear crystal set. Thank you. It's good for three pieces. Okay. Um, I have these. It's a person here that said they like these little things. Look how cute they are. How dating them? I don't know, 60s, 70s or something. That's a guess. Okay, that's really just off the, my head, by the way, they look. These move, actually. These are a starting bid choice of $10. How's that? Um, starting bid choice. Let me get this in here. Of 10 And the, you have the cubes. They're blue. As you can see, these are clips. Okay. They're textured in the back. And these bead, these balls here, are, these are nice pair of earrings. Hi, thank you, Cheryl. Um, look, you've got, like, these move when they're on your ears. That's a deliberate thing. Like, you have them on and they're moving around. These look like something. They're psychedelic kind of. They're nice. And they're little daisies that are painted with enamel. So, orange enamel, brass findings. And you have movement in the center, so these actually move. And the other ones are brass fine. These are, these are an older earring by the look of the back of these. These ones probably are 60s or something. Look. Eh, I could be off on that. Okay, I'm going by the texturedness. Okay, so Cheryl Stanley went in. Let me show them again, see if anybody else comes. If, and if not, I'll just call and see which ones are both, whatever she wants. Yeah, a lot of earrings. He was moving inventory. He's probably loves the fact that he that I found him because I buy it and sell it, and it was just sitting for like years, boxes of it. He has boxes and boxes and boxes of costume jewelry, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call it 1098-54321. Um, ten dollars to Cheryl. Which ones do you want, or do you want both? I think they're both cool. And I have them hung upside down. Excuse me for that. <laughs> I have one upside down. Sure, I just need to know which, if you want one or both. They're nice. I like the cubes. Yeah, the orange ones are amazing. Congrats. They're really nice. It's yours. Your package, too, because the payment, something happened with the invoice or something. Okay. Okay, sure, I got them. Okay. Thank you. Oh, orange daisies. They're nice. They're well painted, too. They look great. And they have the movement on the inside. They're cool. Okay, let me get you a bag. Thank you. Congrats. Um, did somebody ask me to see something in particular? Or I, could, I could just grab anything, right? How about these? I have ear climbers. These are kind of like ear climbers here. See? Like you clip on and it's going up your ear. I have these. These are rhodium plated. These are glass and not... They don't have a maker's mark, so I don't know exactly how old they are, honestly. I'm saying I want to say sometime in the 50s. But they're ear climbers. This is the first pair intact I have ever found of ear climbers. See how they climb up the air? You have a right and a left, and they're ear climbers, and they are not pronged. You have the baguette-shaped ones. They're marquee. But they're all there, and they look great. They kind of make me a horn. So look at that. I think they're cool. Aren't they? Silver tone. Look at the blue ones; are amazing, aren't they? So, um, they have a rhodium like plating on silver tone backing ear climbers, about two inches. They will climb up your ear. No. <clears throat> I have another pair to in here. These are two inches. I will start them at. I don't know. I don't see ear climbers much. I don't know anything about them. Um, twenty for the ear climbers, not the blue ones. These I. I'll probably I'll start those at 22, really, but we'll just start at the ear climbers. They have rhodium plating. Let me hang them on their own thing. Um, kind of look like horns in a way. They're nice, though. Look. All right. So they go on. This is the top because you have, you know, if you're going to clip them on. Let's see if, they, if I can actually get them on. I, <laughs> I'm not good at this. I don't wear clip earrings. Are my ears shaped right from them? I don't know. There, something like that. Anyways, I'll just show them. We'll see if anybody wants some. Um, I have a really pretty, like, starburst pair that are pink. I'm not even showing them here. I just wanted to hang them up again. Don't they kind of remind you of horns? 
<laughs> like cattle horns or something. All right. Those are little air climbers are two inches. I think they're cool, actually. Like you put them on. <laughs> God, it's hard for these. All right. This would go. You know, having trouble. <laughs> Which one goes where? All right. <laughs> I have them on backwards. I see Cheryl on the 20. I'm just going to show them for another minute and then I'll call them. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. No point in it. They're cool. Um, I don't. Okay. You saw them. I showed you. Now, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 sold to Cheryl for 20. I give up. They're nice though. They're in great shape. Um, they look nice. Lots of, lots of earrings. Look at these blue ones. Oh my God. Thank you, Cheryl. So these are ear climbers. They're nice. Lots of uh, lots of vintage jewelry. I am vintage jewelry galore, and today I actually need up to that. Right? I am vintage jewelry galore today. Okay, this is for sure. I already have a bag. Yeah, you got those pretty orange flowers. Okay, now these. They are side by side. I think it's okay, right? These are amazing. These start at twenty two. Like I said, I, that's when I'm starting most earrings because I had so many. Um, these will start at twenty. They're beautiful. These are pronged. These are amazing. Those are look like blue crystals up top. Brass. Screw back. Look at the people. Oh, they're just beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful. Like a Sputnik or something under there. It's deliberately like that. Underneath. Okay. These are all pronged and like soldered together. They're a beautiful earring. I see uh, Kathy in at 20. We'll see if anybody else comes in. They're beautiful earrings. They are about, they're amazing earrings. Look at them, actually. These may be the best pair I had. They're beautiful. They are two, one and three, one and three quarter inches, just about two inches as well. And they shine beautifully. Screw bags. These are older, definitely vintage. I don't know exactly how old. They are prong like in the back and channel, like look channel set in the front. Or the prongs on both sides. I'm lying. Okay, there we go. See, the crystal's up top. All right. I think these are Kathy's for 20. Okay, five, four, three, two, one sold to Kathy for 20. They're very beautiful. They're a nice earring. They're well made. I don't know who made them. That's the thing. You wonder, like, why somebody wouldn't put their name on it. I mean, I think it's a beautiful earring. And it's, um, they're nice. Okay, Kathy, thank you. Let me find my paper. I didn't clean them. When you clean them up, they'll look even better. Okay. Um, they're a beautiful earring. They need cleaned up a little bit. You know how to clean if a toothbrush don't get them wet. Like just wipe them around. They look good. I mean, they weren't dirty. I do have, yeah, I, I have pin sets. I have a couple compacts. I have a pair of shoe clips. One of these guys, big Florida de -lis. Hi, scavenger. I don't know if I said hi and Ashley, hello. Um, sometimes I just say hi. Yeah, these are really nice. I got the, I got an insane price on this stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you guys what I paid, but he just I just got an insane price and I got a lot. So um so I guess be generous starting bit on it. All right, these are shoe clips. Um Musi. These are Florida Lee. You have that, you know. Psh. I don't even know how you would put these on, honestly. I guess that goes under and it sits like that. They're really big. I don't know how old they are. Musi's been making shoe clips for I don't even know how long. But these going around are almost three inches if you like wrap around. But going on the front of your shoe, it will actually be taking up almost two inches. They are signed Musi in the back. Let's see. And they do have a copyright on them. I don't think they even started making shoe clips for before the copyright. They are a famous shoe. I don't really know, though. I could be wrong. I don't think so. All right. So these are, if anybody wants these, I'll start them at 25. They are Musi, M-U-S-I. Um, these are black glass in here in metal. They're shoe clips. They open there. You click them on somehow um, and wear them on your shoes. I guess the front. These were in the box too. So I have another pair that are clear rhinestones, but some of the stones um, are a little bit, uh, one of them looks dark. Okay. At least one. There's the back. 
They're definitely after the 50s. I know that because it has a copyright, right? Yeah, so it's late mid 50s. I don't know. It's hard to present these. These might be something that hangs. Okay. Oh. What is black glass in there? I should have a shoe to show them on. I do shoes over there. I don't know how you wear them. You put them like up underneath or something of a tongue and then wear them on, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to pass on this. Was that long enough? I think so. It usually doesn't take that long. We'll leave them. We'll pass. We'll figure out what to do with them. I have more earrings. Um, I have this. How about, is any, are there any designer people who these are? I don't know if you had a chance to look them up. I'm going to start them like a third of what they're being shown online. If you want to go look up this man's jewelry, or, or, I think it's a man. I don't even know. It is F Mancini, like the bread kind of, I think. M-A-N-C-I-N-I, -I -I, F. They're signed in there. These are a pair of really nice uh, couture designer earrings, 1980s matte finish. I'm a, if you want to get any, I'll let you guys, give you guys a minute to look them up. Um, if there's anybody interested. They are four and a quarter inches. And they're a, uh, the, these were in the box too. These are a good a designer pair of earrings. They're long, they're clips. The clips are strong. The thing about clips is that I don't think there's really any um, like limitations with them really because uh, they are nice. Yeah. Um, because they're clips and they, they're firm though. As you can see, they're hanging on here with no problem. They're long, low over four inches. F Mancini. I, I, let me make sure I'm spelling that right because I feel like I'm talking about the bread. Um, F and I did look them up I, I, in a number of places. Didn't learn a whole lot, but knew the approximate price. M-A-N-C-I-N-I -I for F Mancini. I'm saying Frank. I'm going to start them. Um, I'll give you, I'll start them at this and see if there's anybody interested. If you check the price, you'll know I'm a man job. Okay, starting a bit of 50 for F, me, and I think it's me and Tini. Okay, look, they look like, like some kind of fruit or something. Let me get my boxes. I gotta get my back up. It's uncomfortable. I never heard of this person before, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who they are. If I don't sell them, I'll research them more and offer them again when I know more. I, I haven't had the time to look anything up, I'm not gonna lie. So I think they're nice. They're big. All right. Gold tone matte finish like a 1980. They're both signed actually. Look underneath there. And the back is open as you can see in their sign. And then they like they look hammered. Like hammered metal. The circles, the clips. Let me show you how the clips are. That's that's just what that looks like right there and there. Yeah, they're nice. They look like 1980s type of things. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll price them. I'll research them and price them again if they don't sell. It's okay. I should know a little more about them before I'm selling them. It always it helps things to sell better if you can actually say something about it. But I don't know anything about them. I'll pass. I might wear them. I'm contemplating actually going out. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I want to go. I think I want to go gray, and I need. I could use advice. Oh, Kathy's at 50. Okay, you may have them. You look fantastic in these earrings. They're nice. The clips are really good. I can replace this part if you want. They're not filthy, though. I have the little pads you put on the back. It helps to make them a little more comfortable. I'll put those on there. Okay. I'm going to call them because I've been showing them a while. Nobody else bid. So 54321 sold to Kathy for 50. Thank you. I think they're nice. First time I ever saw the brand. I looked it up though and they're insanely expensive. Price uh, like pretty high. Um, okay. I'll give you the little covers. Um, they make them comfortable. They're new. I bought a, a container. I need to get more of other things. But they're nice earrings. And I never heard of them before. Whoever it is, F. Mancini. And why do I think this name is Frank? I don't know. Probably not. But <laughs> so, Kathy, thank you. All right.
I have a Art Deco necklace. I have compacts and a lot of... Well, let me do a little Hong Kong earrings. Oh, I just dropped an earring. These are a starting bit of $10 choice, okay? They're adorable. Almost as cute as a baby. Okay, it's getting in here. I'm going to show her in a couple minutes. Okay, so these are a starting bid $10 choice. These are little adorable Hong Kong sequin earrings, okay? Talk about adorable, right? Look, they have Hong Kong on the back, and they're lightweight, as you ex would expect for Hong Kong. If you haven't noticed, have you noticed a lot of their, I don't know why they use such light materials, but they did over and over again in their jewelry. These are two inches, the, and I think it's two pairs of earrings, um, obviously. I have them hanging together. makes it easy, but that is sequins, and this is vintage Hong Kong earrings. I think they're pretty cute. They're little cha-cha. Yeah, I think they're cute. So those are a $10 choice starting bid. I didn't really price them. I'm not going to lie. I thought they were cute and at least worth 10 bucks. So. <laughs> Plus, you know, why not? I Like I said, I know for a pretty, I don't know. I had a lot of earrings in that box, like an insane amount. And I still have more, guys. There's more in the corner in the box for my video on Wednesday. I'm going to add some of the stuff over there. Um, they're clip. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me show you. Hi, Jeannie. They are clips. I guess I, and I, I mean, should be ashamed of myself. Or I'm really better than this a lot of, most of the time, you know that. They are clips. Brass, signed Hong Kong, vintage. This is like linked on up there, as you can see. And you got little sequins. Looks like a, you know what it reminds me of? is a Hawaiian um, dancer skirt. <laughs> I think they're very cute, though. You've got yellow sequins and pink. These are two. Two pairs of earrings. So it's a starting bid choice of 10 for either the yellow or... Okay, Kathy was already in, um, Jeannie. So you'd have to go up just a dollar. A dollar is okay. Okay, Kathy's at 12. Thank you. They're pretty cute. I didn't even price them. Like I said, I didn't care. They're beautiful, though, I think. There was a lot of beautiful stuff in there. It has to be my best connect I have now. Even though most of it's vintage. Vintage is beautiful, really. Like, people like it. Okay. Um, Jeannie's at 14. It's a choice of either or, guys. Okay, so Kathy went out. So, Jeannie, do you want the pink or the yellow or both? Thank you, Kathy. And the yellow, pink. Or you can have them both for 14 each. They It's each pair. Um, I did brief. I, I, they're definitely worth that. More than that, but you know, the whole idea is to sell things cheaper here. Um, that's what I try to do. All right, so you want the pink? Okay, Jeannie, thank you. Um, Kathy, would you like these for that same price? If not, it's okay, they're, they're pretty. I like yellow, but if not, they'll hang out and come back again. Thank you, Jeannie. I still have your package too. Like you asked me to hold that, it's still here, so no, no additional shipping. 14 for the pink sequins look like little flowers. Okay. Actually, all right, Kathy. These will be your month. This these will be your. It's not very much. <laughs> they'll be your monthly gift for the that um for the level of membership. I'll do that. How's that? Um, plus your package is going out late. But which you have to email me and let me know where you want them to go. Okay. All right. I sold them already. Uh, Rosa. I'm sorry. Jeannie got the uh, pink, and then Kathy got the yellow. Oh, um, more. Those are Kathy's, and then these are Jeannie. You got the pink ones. Jeannie, need mirror there. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, what should I do next? Oh my God! Look at this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Listen, I got so excited when I saw some of the stuff. Now I know not everybody's a big on costume, but I. This is so amazing costume, actually. Look at this pink flower. This is probably about one of the best. I also have that one there. That one will go a lot cheaper. This is French Wa, I believe it's pronounced. F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S is the spelling. F here on. F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S. Yeah, I'm sorry, Rosa. Uh, Jeannie had asked for them previously. Um, you know, because she wanted a bid and then Kathy. All right, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is like the biggest flower. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest. Look how big that is. That was in there, too. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's huge. I never saw one that big. Five inches almost. Beautiful. Pronged clear rhinestones, like hidden backer. Beautiful carnation. 
you know, with the tips colored black like they do. It's um, It does have a little fading up there. I don't think it takes away from it. But I have a pair of earrings that go with it. I'll start a little bit cheaper and I was going to because of the fading, as you can see. But it's not taking away from it. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful on your um, jacket. I did keep one for myself. I kept black rose. Yeah, for my coat. I'm going to put that on. I've been changing them out. I'm wearing the fish uh, from the... Um... Okay, I guess I should get back to work instead of that. Okay, guys, give me a minute. Um, the earrings are the same maker, Francois. That's, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, sounds French, right? There's the lovely earrings that go with it. So this is a set. Um, they had a lot of sets, this person. I'm going to start a little bit lower because of the, it does a little fading. I, it's, it's high priced online when I did see similar, but I have a little fading on the black branch. The stones look good. It's nice. This is where I'll start it at. Okay. I, at 35. I don't know if you priced any of them, but similar, they, they're quite pricey. This is beautiful. I was going to charge more, but I do have. Back here is the maker's mark. Kathy's at 35. Thank you. This is a beautiful set for a schwa. And you do have a little bit of fading, but like I said, you could touch it up yourself or just wear it and I don't think it's a big deal. You know what I mean? Because this is a very... Okay, Kathy came in first, Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Um, let me hang it up on here. I'm going to stab another one. I can always buy more. You have to sacrifice them after a couple, like two years. <laughs> the bust I'm talking about. Okay. So the big flower on the pink. Beautiful. Kathy's at 40. Look at that big Beautiful flower, and then the earrings are nice as well. These are the screw back. Um, they are clips, screw back clips. You know what I mean by that? You can tighten these to as tight as you want um, to comfort. But I think the clear rhinestones are beautiful, especially in the big one. Kathy's at 40. Thank you. I wore it. It dropped on the couch at the hospital today. I picked them up. I was sleeping there and Maury kind of threw me out like the one night. She was like, you, you need to leave your store and so loud. I can't sleep. And she was exhausted from 30 hours of labor. Baby is well worth it. <laughs> 41 with Rosa. I mean, I'm saying that I'm not the woman that suffered it, but God, she's cute. I'll show, I'm going to show her after this. Okay. She's just too cute. I have a couple of pictures. Beautiful big five inch flower and matching clip screw back earrings, meaning you can tighten them. Roses at 43. Can you guys see that? Well, I think so. Huh? Big pin. I'm not going to, I already had it on. It's big. It's going to, and on it, it's noticeable. Then you got the earrings. Same maker. 45 with Kathy. Thank you. I think that's good enough. I'm going to I'm showing it. I'm like falling all over the place. I'm laying on a box. No. Me and Eva did go for a walk to get a little bit of movement because I've been sitting so much. But it's hard. Roses at 50. Thank you. I think it's beautiful. I think the roses, I mean, the flower's beautiful. The big flower. The earrings are cute too. But it's mainly the flower. They shine beautifully, actually, the rhinestones. This. So you, know, you have the one hidden under the. Yeah, she for she's fine now. She is suffering a little bit though. Poor thing, got to wear ice packs and stuff. Good, Eva's good. Complete recovery. We we went. We picked out a little bit. Got the baby a couple things, little things to take to her tomorrow. I'm gonna make um, broccoli cheddar bake and take it to Maury. Gonna feed her. Um, we're going to have dinner together, take some paper plates and just eat in the room with her and the baby when well, a baby can't have any. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she'll get it in the breast milk. Kathy's at 53. Our widow Izzy, Izzy Bell. It's God's promise. That's what her name means. Isabel. God's promise. Lori picked that. Beautiful name. Kathy's out. Rosa won it. All right. It's nice. It's nice. I think that's a decent price for it. Okay. I don't think real, real high wouldn't have been. Well, you know, whatever. You guys can pay whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful brooch. Um, I, and I'm going to thank you, Kathy, 
for your bids and for letting us know you're out. I'll call it Don to Rosa in five, four, three, two, one. Sold the Francois flower set. It's really pretty. I'm going to show the baby now if you guys, do you guys want to see her? I think you guys do. Thank you guys. This is, um, this is your first thing tonight, right, Rosa? All right. Um, let me get a bag. I'm like, I want to show her. I think she's adorable. She gave me permission. She's very, being very, like, protective. It's okay. She's allowed to be. She's just a fantastic baby. Let me share these pictures. I think she is. She's dainty. Little tiny baby cry. Sounds like a little girl. You know how they sound, like, when she sneezes or something or, who oh, cares? She's a tiny little baby. Can you see her? It's bright lights, but there's her. And there's her with Pinky. She tiny. She got a tiny head. <laughs> she adorable. Six pounder. Almost 19 inches. Just dainty and adorable, my baby. My newest baby. Yeah. It's nothing quite like a baby. Okay. <laughs> She's cute. Thank you. She's pretty and um, she's sweet. She falls asleep for me right away. I rock her. And uh, thank you. She's um, she falls asleep rather quickly. For her. she's easy to peaceify. She's she's well. She's good. She's comfortable. Easy. Okay. So I'm gonna do another set, guys. And this is pretty. This will start at thirty as well. Thank you. She's she's just adorable. Is a Izzy Bell. She named her Izzy Bell. It's Isabel, but she changed the spelling up a little bit. So, um, Isabel, she calls her, Is it's Isabel. She's pretty adorable. She gained a little weight already. She's small, but Maury's a tiny lady and pushing a baby out. I'm glad she got to have a normal birth instead of like me, where all the C-sections were just horrendous to hail from. Anyways, um, they, they're, they're hard. This starts at 30. This is beautiful black glass brooch and earring set. Um, there's the beautiful pin. It's japanned in the back, japanning, you know, the black and um, matte um, and metal. It's like a matte finish. And these are fully pronged. These are glass. They're not plastic. Okay, they're glass stones, different shapes. And I didn't even look at it. I don't see them working on it. But there's a pair of clip earrings that go with it that are very beautiful. Look, you've got... Like an inch and a half on the earrings. Thank you, Kathy. It's a pretty set. Um, they're vintage. I got a little bit of paper on it, clean wiping it off there. I'll get it off. I'm sorry. I tried doing a wipe up and I got a little bit of paper on it. Yeah, it's Izzy Bell. Meets um I'll I'll get the paper out of there. You see what I'm talking about? I wiped it off paper towel that's paper. Um I didn't want to get them overly wet, but you have the same thing with the backing. These are, this is definitely set. Um, I wouldn't show the backs at the same time. Same shaped stones. These ones are opened in the back, though. They're from the same set. You got them from the same house. Let me give you a measurement. I don't think I did that, did I? Okay, so Kathy's in at 30. I'll show them just for a couple more minutes. Two, a little over two and a half, and these are two inches. Yeah, I'll get the paper towel out of there. It's just a little piece that I got stuck. I think it's nice. It's pretty. Light, nice black, um, shiny black glass, faceted glass beads. Okay. I'm going to call it my back hurts. No, I'm joking. I am. Five, four, three, two, one. So the Kathy, it's enough for it for 30. It's beautiful. I shouldn't have wiped it off the paper towel. I got some stuff to wipe. I'll, I'll, I'll brush it off. I'm sorry. I was just trying to wipe them up. Some of it looked dusty. This was in somebody's house for a while. Probably the jewelry. They boxed it up and sold the estate. That's what happens. And um, he dug through it, pulled the gold out, and I got what's left. And I'm happy with what I got. Okay. <laughs> Black glass set. But I tried cleaning it, so I'm saying it's an older piece. This is vintage. All right. It's out, I think. Thank you, Kathy. I did that last minute, too. How about this? Wait, that's not Kathy. That's Rosa, though. This is Jeannie. Kathy's third one in. Okay. Um, I have this giant thing. I, somebody asked me for this. I don't know if she's here. 
I didn't have time to pre-sell for anybody to ask me. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's it's been, I've been needed. I've been needed. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I've been needed and um, I have, you know, have to do my deeds, my, my family things. I want to do it. Okay. So I didn't get to pre-sell. If you're here, I hope you're here. I'm starting it really low. It's amazing. But those are glass to beat. Those are glass rhinestones, but this is plastic. I did my this up a little bit too. Probably needs another cleaning. It's looked a little kind of dusty. It's gigantic. But it starts at 15. Um, it's a cool brooch. It looks like the same clasp on all the other flower powers from 1960 back there. Um, it, it is plastic. Okay, it's cool. Some kind of plastic. Those are glass rhinestones in there. It's big. Did I give you guys a measurement? I don't think so. When somebody, if, she, if, if, if nobody buys it, I'll email her and tell her she can have it. She may not be able to be here. It's four inches and it's giant. Kathy's in at 15. I think, uh, yeah, I'd buy it for 15 too. It's big. I got to keep one. I really liked it. This struck me in the box. This and those, those three cases. I was like, okay, I'm going I'm to buy that. <laughs> From you. Hi. Hi. Um, hi, Lisa. Okay. So I see Kathy in a 50. It's a big, it is plastic flower power brooch. It's not the metal enamel. This is actually plastic and a beautiful flower. Looks like a black carnation, doesn't it? Kind of. Or what are those flowers called? I, I think I have the wrong name, but everything is riveted together, I think. Okay. Um, oh, Cheryl came in at 16. All right. So Okay, Cheryl's at 18. Okay, that's the high bid to 18. Um, I don't know how it's made. I don't need to know, right? It's nice. It's big. It's large. And for 15, that was a real stale. Okay, Kathy's in at 20. Big flower power birch. I think it would look great on a white coat. That's... How are you doing? I hope you're doing all right, um, Lisa. Okay, so Kathy, thank you for letting me know you're out. And um, Cheryl, it's yours at 22. Thank you. I thought it was cool. Different and, and really huge. 22 for the, I don't know what kind of flower it is. Large black flower. I, I, I like black flowers. I'm attracted to the, the way they look. I also have, I have a Coro set right here. Let me find, um, let me find Cheryl. You got these those pretty flowers, yeah. All right, let me get down on the floor. I dropped some. Oh Jesus, where did it go? Give me a minute. <laughs> I dropped one of my flowers. Excuse me. If you see the appearance that I have sweatpants on with the shirt, eh, yeah, just excuse that. They said I rolled out of the hospital rather quickly. <laughs> I was I had to feed, you know, go get food and everything to make dinner tomorrow and it was a busy day. All right. But I did put a dress shirt on at least. All right. Um, this is, that was a nice big flower, huh? It sold. That sold. It was huge, huh? Or is it your guy gigantic? All right. This is Coro. Now, they're both signed Coro. I don't know if this is an actual set or not, but somebody wore it as one because it was in the same box. This is a little bit more of a starting bid than 20 anyways. Not much. Um, it's enamel. Um, metal enamel. Yeah, comfort is number two. I'm going to be on a long time. Well, you know, a few hours. Starting bid for the Coro set. Let me show you what it looks like. These are fully pronged. This is nice, actually. It's um, layered. And those are pronged. The clear rhinestones are pronged. They're all there. It's a um, flower power probably 60s or 70s or something. Sign Coro back there. And pretty. And these earrings are with it. Hi, Linda. Um, thanks for coming. They're sign Coro as well. The reason why I say I don't know for exact match is the texture is slightly different. The flowers kind of look different, but these are pronged in the center as well. The clear rhinestones, not quite as layered. We're one layer short, okay? But they, it was in the box, and the person was wearing it together, so here it is. Um, I'll start the Coro set at 25 if anybody's interested. You get the black daisy. I think it looks like a daisy. It's layered, two layers, and the center ball bead. Beautiful. It's about two inches at least. I'll measure it for you. So they're both um, not copper enamel, metal enamel. If I said copper enamel, it was a mistake. Two and a quarter inch on the Coro 
um, flower and the earrings are about an inch, we'll say. But it's a nice set. I think I should have it behind something like this. Let me hang it up. <laughs> Kathy's in at 25. I'll just show just another minute and then I'll call it. It's a nice set. Um, the clips are good. I'll put more plastic uh, rubberies in on there, make them more comfortable. But they've all got a firm clip in these earrings. There wasn't. I didn't have to tighten anything. But yeah, I thought it was nice. There was a lot of amazing vintage costume jewelry in there for me. So, all right, I'm calling them. I'm not going to waste too much time. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy for 25. It's a pretty set. I have, oh my God, I have this little sequin set's adorable too. Did you guys see that? Oh, look at these. For if you like your costume, these are Cora. They're beautiful. I have a $10 box of earrings too that were in there. Let me pack this up. I'll do the Cora and then I'll pull that box out. This is 25 for Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. It's nice. <sighs> what is that? Me wiping things out of a piece of cotton. So. <laughs> I tried. Um, <laughs> it's so hard to leave the hospital, guys. I mean, it's just so hard. I, I couldn't bring myself to leave. Um, she's cute. All right. Uh, I'm going to hold her for a while. That's all. You know how it is. All right. But I prepared enough. I'm doing doing fine here. These are really nice. These are Cora. I love the color. Don't I? I have a necklace that kind of matches it back here. Look, it's not the same necklace at all. Okay, this is that and the necklace. The blue is the same color as all I'm saying. Close. Okay. Um, the necklace is pretty amazing. I went through a lot of errands today, didn't I? Pins. These are Cora. They are signed Cora. Let me make sure I'm right because I I know they're Cora, but they may. Let me look. Okay. Just make sure. Yeah, this thing looks filthy. Let me hang them on the new one. <laughs> the black ones look bad. These are going to fall apart, too. It's hard without paying a fortune, with, but which I'm not willing to do, to get nice ones that don't fall apart. I tried getting the leather ones. Um. Yeah, I was, yeah, Maury, too. Maury gets, she's lonely. She'll be home Wednesday or Thursday. We'll go get, I'll go get her. Okay. They're, well, I'm going to be there every day probably as well. So these are Cora. I'm just looking at the way the beads are dropping down. They're pretty. This is what they look like. They are signed. They need wiped off. Um, I need to. Hold on. There's a little smudge. Um, okay. They're signed Cora back there. Right there. C-C-O-R-O. And these are little dangles. And they're really cute, pretty color blue. I'll show you the other one. See, everything is chained on there. These are vintage, Coro. Um, a, B type of finish on them, though. So we, you know, I don't know when. Late 50s, 60s, something around there. They're pretty, though. I think they are. These are, these are, um, I wanted to start these ones at, at 30, if anybody's interested. I The color of blue is amazing. Let's see that color very often on jewelry it looks like a teal blue beautiful Cora these are layered in a sense what I mean by that is you lift up all the top and you have ones laid um wired onto the bottom and they're all there because I checked to make sure there was nothing how many layers do we have I see Kathy in it 30 thank you you have two layers um and look they are they're well made these are an older earring okay they're riveted in well made. The clips are good. And they're silver tongue. I see Kathy in at 30. I'll just wait a minute. Not long. These, I call them cha-cha. I have a pair of purple ones like these. They're not Cora. I'll pull them out. I'm going to pull out the other earrings. All right, I'm going to sell them to Kathy in uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, um, $30 for the beautiful Cora. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Let's find the All right. Here's where's the bottom. Oh, right here. I there's some nice earrings in here. Congrats. Thank you. I think these are nice. Um no, they're not the ten dollar oh, This is all ten in here. Let me pull it out. It all came out of the box to see if anybody's interested. I have a bone china. This is cape 
Cool. Oh my goodness. Coalport, China, made in England. The metals made in China would be my guess. Okay. And this piece of bone china that's painted is from England. Okay. It's pretty. It's 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 10, starting bid 10, if anybody's interested. I, I think that's a good bid buy on it. Um and spend a hundred ton of time looking it up though, I'm not gonna lie. But it's cute. It is uh bone china painted. This part is from England. The findings in the back and assembled is from China is my guess, and I think I'm right. No. <laughs> Jeannie came in first. Um, sorry, Patrick. You can go up a buck or go out if you're not interested. It's up to you. It's pretty. Um, guys can go up any increments you want, but since I'm fine with it. It's nice. I call them courting couples. That's what they always, you know, they remind me of from back in the day when people were courted. I told my 14 year old I'll be following her two feet behind at all times. She will be courted. I told her <laughs> she'd kill me. Um, okay. So, uh, it's okay. Thank you, Jeannie, for letting me know. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, sold to Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. It's cute. Let me see what else I have in here. That'll okay. It's spoon china. Okay. Pin. There's a couple different things in here. I didn't look anything up. Um, this is the first thing for you, right? Yeah. Oh, your stuff's sitting here. I'm really sorry. I did tell you I'm going to compensate you, okay? <laughs> it was crazy. I, I can afford to a little bit, so it's not like, oh, I, I feel like I have to or anything. I want to. I feel bad about the delay. Hi, Kirsten. Um, This is really pretty. This is going to be a choice, or you can have them both. This is going to start at 10. Look how pretty. It's a little box clasp. Um, This is beautiful black faceted glass doesn't appear to be knotted in between but you have a nice short strand of black uh, faceted glass beads and it has the uh, box clasp with a little one in the center there it's a short necklace you're gonna wear this up high on your neck it's it's a starting this will be a starting bid ten dollar choice okay for i'm going to show a pair of earrings that like look like it matches it i'll just do it like that um just make it easier and pass it a little bit quicker. It's a 15 inch necklace. It's short. You've got to have a short neck. Um, this can be in the side front or in the back. So little black beads. I see Rose at 10. Thank you. And let me show you the earrings I have. That's the necklace. It's a choice. The necklace. It's beautiful. Look at the black fast the glass. It's a short one, 15 inches. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it up here. Here. How about that? <laughs> That's good enough for you. And I have a little pair of earrings. I didn't test the metal on them. Okay. These are matching it. Maybe I should just do them together. Let's just do it together. Forget the choice. I can do what I want, right? You guys can understand. You can dig. No, I'm joking. They can be sold. I'll sell them together. These are piercings. I did not test the metal on these, but they have a French hook in the back. And these are beautiful little black faceted hoop earrings that will match with the little necklace. Look how cute. What a cute little set. $10 for both instead of a choice. I think it's cute. It's an instant little set. Whoever had this jewelry, they, they had a lot of, they loved vintage jewelry, probably an older woman, and they had a lot of things they set up made in the sets. But, okay. I don't see anybody else in. I'm going to call it. I think it was long enough. So it's for both of them. I decided that why not? Uh, there's, I have a lot of jewelry here. I'd like to move a portion of it out. Um, I hate to make it sound like that. It's a reality. When you buy a big box of jewelry and you want to sell it instead of wasting it, you just move it out and that's <laughs> the way it is. Um, five, four, three, two, one sold to Rose. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to give somebody this is a cute set for 10 bucks. So congrats. It'll um it look nice. I don't know what the metal is. I didn't test it. It's brass or something. It doesn't stick to a magnet. And I don't know. That's I'm usually magnetizing everything. I wasn't convinced it was gold or anything. So I didn't test it. Okay, Rosa, congrats. That should, you have something else here, the little black glass set here. Let's see what else I have in here if there's anything else. If not, I'll move up on to the other earrings I have a set. Then I um, was starting at 15. Rosa, um, you got the, no, you didn't. Hold on, i got to find you. You have something in there. Then. One second. Where did you get bit out? Is this? This is her first thing, huh? Okay. We got that. No, you got the beautiful flower. Okay. Thank you. Um, another pair of shoe clips are a little beat, though. Not really beat, but they have a dark stone. Look. 
They were thirsty. I'll bring them later, maybe. Um, let me get rid of this box. How about this one? If there's anything else you're waiting to see that I'm not showing and it, you want me to um, show, tell me. All right. Think, oh, I have these. These are magnificent. These are starting at $30. Let's start with these. Just do these real quick. These ones are beautiful. These are magnificent. Uh, I'm calling them cha-cha. Okay, beautiful blue AB rhinestones that are fully pronged and has the little rhinestones in a dangle or fully pronged with gla beautiful glass paint blue beads on there. Magnificent, actually. Uh, very well made. Construction is amazing as well. They're a well-made earring. Um, I call them cha-cha. I don't know if that's the real name for them or not, but they're cha-cha to me. And beautiful. They're about two inches. I think they're really nice. Blue AB rhinestones, and yeah, two inches is what they are. They have opening in the back to let light in, as you can see, in the earrings. And everything is wired on here. Look. They're wired in place, everything, um, and then pronged, and then riveted in the back, but one second. Okay. I think they're pretty. Whew, I'm starting to get hot. I like the heat got turned up more. Even Eva wanted to turn it up last night, and I was like, no. I think they're pretty. They are blue. I, I don't know what kind of blue seafoam. I don't know what kind of blue that is. But the, all of these are, the rhinestones are pronged in there in AB, blue AB. All right, I'll show them for another minute, then I'll pass on. I'm hot. Mom, mom's overheated here, okay? I'm going to pass on these, okay? I'll bring them back in another date. I'll research them a little bit and see what I can figure out. Okay, let me hang them up. Unless somebody comes on and you want them at that. If not, who knows? These may be in Wednesday's video a little bit cheaper. I have no problem with it admitting that. Um, <laughs> that's part of life. Yeah, you... <laughs> All right, I have this. This is um, really pretty. It's I'm, I'm going to call it amber glass, and I believe it's check glass, and I do believe this is Art Deco. This was in the box can't believe when I found it, to be honest. I'm going to start it. I got a decent price on it. I'm going to start it at $50, okay? It's it's um strung on old thread. I can tell it's the thread is old on hair. It is knotted in between. Thread or silk, I don't know. It's older, okay? It's intact, though. It's 35 inches in length right now. Um, if you would, if it, it doesn't open, so that's all it's going to be is 35. But it is all fully pronged, as you can see, on old thread because it's an old necklace. It is, um, I'm calling it amber glass. Some people may call it root beer glass. Um, I think it's pretty. Um, this isn't the best color to have on with it, but there it is. It's a good length, and I think it's really pretty. The beads, you have these different beads. Oh, my God, I just knocked down my thing out of my hair. You can see that, guys. All right. Put different shaped beads. Um, I just knocked my, oh my God, I'm a mess. I should have just been camera down, guys. I got to get a table so I can go camera down when I don't feel like, like doing anything with myself because I'm telling you what, I'm exhausted. All right, this is, um, I think it's pretty. It's, uh, I believe it's check glass and it is Art Deco. And the string is old on there. You can tell by looking at it. I don't know what happened to my, do you see my little Kirk's falling thing just fell right out of my hair? I knocked it out with a necklace, pulling it over my head. All right. I don't think that's going to sell. It's all right. I'll bring it back in another day. My hair is a mess. Okay. I can admit that. I, I took very little time with it today. But this is pretty. This is old glass. And I have a red one. I need to string out. Yeah, it flew out of my hair. When the, it went back there in the basket. I like, knocked it out. I don't think it's going to sell, but it's okay. It's long. It is a strand. I believe it's Art Deco, check glass, root beer, or amber glass, whatever you want to call it. Um, There it is. I 
It looks pretty good. I don't see any obvious chips or breaks on this. Okay. Hi, Alina. So there it is. I think it's pretty. Um, see how the beads deco. Yeah. I, yeah. The smaller beads up top and then they go down. They kind of even this out. Doesn't have a clasp on it. I think it's very pretty, the glass. And Cheryl's at 50. Thank you. 50 is a good price for it, I believe. If you get it at that, good for you. Um, it's nice. It was in the box. It was in the box. I'm going to go back there all happy, and I'm going to be going too often. He's going to start charging me more. I'll be like, <laughs> that lady's way too happy. Share her twice a week. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's pretty. Cheryl's at 50. I'll just wait another minute. Um, my hair is like really, really bad, guys. Anna needs to go camera down. Um, that's what got happen. <laughs> I'm gonna sell it to Cheryl for 50. And congratulations, it's beautiful. Now I have a red one similar that I'm gonna re beat up with some crystal or something. I need to learn how to beat. I'm trying to teach my uh Maury because that's what she's gonna do to make money so she can take care of her child. I don't want her to go to work. I'm gonna have her beat up necklaces I can sell. <laughs> but this one is a natural on old thread. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm I'm exhausted. Okay, but it's sold. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Cheryl for fifty. That's a good deal. It's a nice necklace, Cheryl. Congrats. Thank you. Art Deco. I don't even see any like chips or anything on it. And you can just tell by the thread it's old. You can, it, it looks different. Um. Okay. Thank you. Congrats. My hair. Okay, guys. I give me a minute. Wow. This is going to be on there forever. I haven't dyed my hair in three months. Yeah, let's get And just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> um, I'm going to go. I haven't had the time. There's been pressing items that I've been dealing with. And... Okay, so thank you very much. It's uh, The camera's extremely close, but I'm okay with that. I don't care. More important things than being in the family. You know? Yeah, I'm happy. I can't deny it. Okay, she's just fantastic. The baby's fantastic. I have this one, too. I'm going to start it at 50 if anybody wants it. And I believe that that's a steal of a deal. And uh, not to use those terms, but seriously, this is a fantastic, beautiful lilac glass necklace. Lovely Venetian art, uh, art glass. Look at that. You can see all that beautiful, um, like, glittery what's going on back there, okay? Um, it is a brass barrel clasp. Everything is strung and knotted, okay? And it's, I think it's beautiful. That's what you have. You have the brass caps over each beautiful lilac colored bead. Everything is a gold, um, like, besides it being purple, they added gold to it. But $50, I think it's cheap for this. If anybody's interested, if not, I do love lilacs, my favorite flower. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I have a collection. Jewelry's collecting, and that's okay. That's the way it is. And then you pull it out. I'm not fretting myself over it. Somebody asks for something, you have it. Don't ever hesitate to ask me. I may have something hanging out um, that you might want. So you can ask me, send me an email. I'm fine with that. And I'll look. I try to keep it organized. It's getting hard. I'm not going to lie. All right. It's beautiful, though. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's nice. I would like a better short if if I could do that on, on me, on myself. But there you have. I don't, I don't feel like these look like wedding cake beads to me. Um, when I'm looking them up, that's what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm seeing Venetian, they look Venetian art glass. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. I'm talking about the painted beads. The other ones are okay. okay let's pass on it. That's fine. This must be something that's meant for me. Sometimes that happens. Oh, I can't. Is there anything anybody's been waiting to see that I haven't showed? I think this is beautiful. I also still have, I can offer the bird necklace a little bit cheaper if anybody was really tempted on that. And that I'll go down a little bit on the store. Not much though, because look at that amethyst. And I priced them. It's Israel, um, Jerusalem. That is made, it's 980 silver Jerusalem. This is a 13 bird fetish bird necklace. Um, vintage Native American, I think Navajo, actually. But that's a 13 bird one. 
they I could take them down a little bit if anybody's interested. Um, I guess this is mine. It's gonna hang out for a while. There are some things I move to the to the me. That'll be one of them. That's okay. I can keep it, right? Um <laughs> I have this glass Japan pearl necklace. I think it's pretty nice. And I don't know who this is, but this is pretty amazing, actually. Let me show it to you. Let me measure it. Okay. I think this is amazing. The sugar beads are glass. I've never seen that personally. Um, normally, they were plastic. These are actually glass. It's two and a half inches on the extender. So you can go 16, 18 inches, 15 and a half, actually. I think it's cool. What's hanging on the end? I don't know who this is. I don't know who the maker of the necklace is. I love the color of the um, the glass beads on it, though. But it looks like like a violin or a viola, doesn't it? Look, I don't see a maker's mark on it. That is the tag. And this is all glass and metal. These are metal beads here. The caps, beautiful. And the sugar beads are actually glass, which I've never seen it. I'll start it at 30 if anybody's interested. I think it's a beautiful necklace. I think it would look beautiful on. I do have on the opal sets. I have a necklace on. Yeah, it's pretty. I'll just leave it hanging on the bust. These are glass, actually, as well. And you have the everything is strung. It is, I need to get that piece, I uh, got it off as a piece of a tag from when they sewed it somewhere. It has these little glass beads as separators. It is a nice view of like green, like for St. Patty's Day. It's already passed, but still, it sort of reminds me of Kathy's Aunt 30. I think it's pretty. I think it matches the Coro earrings. Didn't you get those? The color of blue on it, even though they're silver tone, that's not going to show a lot because it's in the back. Nobody will notice. I think that these two actually match, and they probably wore them together. Like, I have bracelets set here. They have <laughs> Kathy's in a 30. I'll see if any, just a minute. I have this big, amazing pin. I don't know who it is. But I have a bracelet and a pair of earrings, and it looks like, like a nice set. Like, somebody must have been wearing that together as well. Person loved her jewelry. I'm going to call it. 54321 sold to Kathy for 30. I think it's a beautiful necklace. I'm going to have to use a, I'm going to have to use a big box this time. <laughs> so, thank you. Can't wait till my daughter comes home. It's been it's been hard going to the hospital. Um, and then I have Eva back since yesterday. It's a, it's worth it though. It's important to me. Okay, thank you, thank you, Kathy. Congrats. Okay, I thought it was beautiful. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I thought. Let me show this. I do. Let me show these. I was starting these lower. At 10, see if anybody wanted these. Um, they're nice. These are nice cha-cha earrings. You're welcome, Kathy. I think it's a beautiful necklace. I don't know who it is, um, but with that hang tag on the end, I it's somebody. I, I don't know who the maker is. I ain't taking enough time to look. I'm okay with that. I'll look later when I see it. I'll know. <laughs> I'll recognize it. I, I think these are nice. They're nice, actually. I'll start these at 10. Yes, yeah, so I'll offer that to you guys. I'll do that in a minute. How much? I said 10 on these? Okay. Um, I'll offer that next, uh, Linda, a little bit lower. I still have to make back, you know, a little bit over what I paid for, but I'll, I'll lower it. It's beautiful. I don't know if you priced it, um, but it, it was selling for a decent amount. There's the clip in the back. And these are um, silver tone and beautiful purple AB glass. And they're about two inches. Nothing's missing on them um i like the color actually the color purple is pretty amazing one and three quarter inches um purple ab glass cha-cha earrings they are wired on as you can see they're nice there's the back the clips are good there's no name on them but they're purple glass ab i have these ones too i think they're beautiful they're um black glass these those are nice i think and these oh i'm sorry i'm all over the place yeah these are pretty nice actually they don't have a name on them though um everything's wired on there it all seems to be there all right i'm gonna pass on them. um let's see i'll show the cross i the heart it's star it's a star 
signed Jerusalem, and it's 980 silver. And it is a pendant or a brooch. I don't have a chain with it. It, it can be sold alone. That's pretty amazing. And that's how it is with some of the things. They, it's nice to have a chain. It's signed silver 980. It is actually, it is silver. It tests it. It's 98% sterling signed Jerusalem. It has a veil right there. And they can be a pin. Can be worn as a pin or a pendant. And it is a, when you turn it, I know I have a headache. It's hard. It's hard. Maybe that's why. Kind of need Tylenol. Um, I might go get Tylenol. It's almost two inches, like one and three quarters. Look at the amethyst in it. Okay. I don't know if you priced it or not, but this is what I'll start it on. We'll see if, if anybody wants it at this. I wouldn't want to go any lower. I can wear it as well. So if I, I keep it and then sell it at a later date, you wear it for a while, then sell it. But it's beautiful. That is a beautiful amethyst in there. It's very dark. And it's it's closed in the back. Oddly, but I think it's very nice. And um, I don't know if you looked it up. Um, hopefully you did, Linda, because that's, that's a good deal. I think it's nearly half price of what it was being sold for online. Okay, so 75 with Linda. I'll just show it another minute. Um, it's pretty. Jerusalem silver 980, so 9, 9, 98% sterling. Hey, Eva, what? will you get onto the, my bedroom and get me the Tylenol, please? I can't take you ibuprofen. There's Tylenol in my, I have a really bad headache. Please, thank you. All right, I'm going to call it 54321 sold to Linda. <laughs> thank you and congratulations. That was long enough. No, no point in, uh, suffering out. It's beautiful, and that's a good deal for it. I hope you looked it up. If you didn't do it, when you get it, Google it. You'll be happy. Um, gave you a good deal. I had a decent enough deal on it to be able to do that and be okay with it. This didn't come out of the box. I didn't even get it from him. I need to go to the thrift stores I've not been to in like a month and see what's there. So 980 silver. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Hopefully I can manage to. It's, it's hard. Get carried away with uh, the visiting and Maury and helping out. Um, okay, so thank you. It's beautiful. Congratulations. I don't have a chain for it, but I, I'm sure you have a beautiful chain. Um, well, I have these pearls. They're really amazing. I've, I'm going to show this. I don't know. I was excited about this. I want to do them as separate pieces in it, but they'll start. Oh, they'll start low first. What about the sage? And let's do that first. You see this? Look at that. I'll start this lower. Let me see. I looked it up. I don't want to go. I paid. This was actually in the box. I can't lie, but they're kind of pricey. Um, not that pricey though. I didn't price it that much. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Congrats. That's a big, beautiful amethyst, and this is blue topaz and amethyst braid, like braided. Okay, and it's signed Sajin on here. It has a hang tag right there. It says Sajin. It is silver, sterling silver. I'll measure it. This starts at 30 for the Sajin, S-A-J-E-N. You want to say hi? Come in front of the camera. No, see, my kids don't want to do it. They don't want to. They're shy. It's okay. I don't expect her to. She's 14. <laughs> Maybe when she gets older. Okay, thank you, Patrick. I'm measuring it for you. It's beautiful, and that's a good price for this. And the amethyst is pretty amazing on it. It's a two-inch extender. It goes up to 10 inches, so you got a lot of room on this. And it is Sajin, this S-A-J-E-N amethyst. The amethyst is really big, large, and in charge there. Um, I see Alina at... Um, at uh, 32 35 with Patrick. Neither have I. He has a, I saw somebody sell it on here. Um, I'm, I don't bring a lot of names up anymore. I don't feel like it. But um, I saw somebody sell on here. It sells beautiful jewelry and, and has a lot of it. And I saw a bunch in his counter. And this happened in the box by accident, I think. But <laughs> no, not really. It was in the stone. He, I think I, don't know, I think might have been trying to be nice. Maybe felt sorry for me or something. Yeah. You know? Pathetic Anna. No, I'm kidding. Patrick at 50. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful. The amethyst is pretty amazing on there. It's large and in church. And it's a bigger bracelet. So, yeah, it can be going from its size at, all the way up to a size 8. I mean, size 10, 10 inches. Beautiful. Sage. And I've, I did. I saw it on the other channel the first time, and, and his counter is draped with it for high prices. His prices are very high. On that he gets it too he's on big business yeah you know i mean 
selling gold, all that expensive stuff in his store. Okay, Elena's, um, Patrick's at 55, thank you. And it's blue topaz. Again, I was hoping it was aquamarine. You know, aquamarine is hard to get a hold of. And, like, it's not as easy. No, it's not pathetic. It's beautiful. Um, I'm kidding. He does sell the higher-end stuff, though. So, to him, it's, um, he's still making something probably off me because he's pulling gold out of it and stuff. You know what I mean? I And this is good. I, I like this stuff. Yeah, she's, ex she's excited. It's another girl. Um, the baby's a girl. We have Isabella, Isabel, little baby girl, little baby girl, my uh, first granddaughter, my little baby. <laughs> okay. And Patrick's at 55 to see if Alina's going to stay in. Um, it's Sajin. It has the hang tag there. It's Sterling silver. The hang tag for Sajin is on the corner. Hang in here. Sterling. Little tiny. Amethyst hanging off the edge as well. It's cute. It's a nice bracelet, actually. The amethyst is pretty amazing. Patrick's at 60. Thank you. Yeah, he had a bunch, he had a bunch of big necklaces in there from there. I, I roll away from it. I, I happen upon things cheap. It's typically how I get <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. Not cheap, it's so I can offer it cheaper. I couldn't like pay uh, like 50 bucks for this and then try to come on and start it. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem like you're giving anybody any room on it at all yeah niece yeah eva's excited where i'm gonna make dinner tomorrow after i'm gonna come home and make the broccoli cheddar chicken bacon and we're all we're gonna head over after school go hang out for a few hours um lena's at 68 thank you thank you lena and patrick this is a pretty bracelet i like the amethyst yeah, it's dark and beautiful. So it, it's dark and beautiful in the star as well. And if you can see occlusions in it. It's a definitely, um, it's pretty. It's a nice bracelet. Alina's at 72, thank you. I feel like I need a hand to hang it on, but I'm, it's covered with stuff. I have a light amethyst. I think it's amethyst. I should probably retest that. I know this is amethyst. Okay, you can tell by looking at it as well. The other bracelet's a little late. Um, Patrick's at 74, 76 with Melina. Thank you. Just hanging on here. Oh, she got me my Tylenol. Guys, I'm going to put it down right there. You know what you're getting. We'll see, 80 with... Um, I have. Like I said, um, why not give the name up? Okay, whatever. Gina Gay sold tons of it. Um... <laughs> she's she's cut she's in decision she had a big bunch of it at one point and that was the first time i ever seen it but i saw it at a store yeah he had a large amount of it and this must have tripled over and got put into my bag somehow um i don't know give me it told me a bag of stones and this was in there with the pearls the pearls are beautiful so yeah i have seen sage in like this before um on her channel and also through the estate sale guy the guy buys the states out for huge jewelry sale so store i'm not saying where it's at <laughs> yeah it's a big estate store it's a store it's a nice bracelet i'm not big on saging though either okay i mean i'm not i don't sell it a lot it's expensive it's a costly jewelry um their stuff's pretty costly <laughs> so i don't like really buy a lot of it but when I see it, I'll sell it. Okay, so we're at um, 87 out with Elena and 87 of Patrick. Okay, it's um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we'll do Patrick for 87. Thank you, Elena, for your bids and congrats and thanks, Patrick. 87 for the Sajin bracelet. She's going to get retargeted over here to my channel and I'm like, why is she talking about me? <laughs> I just figure I'd tell you where I, I have seen it before. Um, congrats. All right. I have to find Patrick. You have that beautiful little pen. Okay. I have pearls in here. I have garnet. I have, um, I have, every, I have these ones I put together. I'm trying to craft. Wow. It's getting carried away now. All right, mom. It's just so much. 
Okay, this set, I wanted to show the set. I thought it was cool. I'm going to start, start it lower. Um, yeah, it's pricey. It's nice. Their jewelry's nice. I've had a couple rings and reluctantly sold them. I, a couple I really like. Um, but it happens. I can get them. I don't happen upon them real cheap or often. Um, it's hard. And yeah, at a decent price. It's not real common. Okay, this is faux pearls. This is really nice. It's like a big splash. I don't know who the maker is. Look, it's a set. Let me show you. You're welcome. It's a bracelet. This is that is the same type of thing. Okay, and a pin. This is costume. I think it's cute. Though. It's a nice set. And then you have these earrings. I don't know who the maker is. It's all like wire. Okay. Um, you have the earrings. I'll start the earrings first. These start at $10, if anybody's interested. Starting bid 10 for the gold tone. They are gold tone costume earrings, but very nice um, hoop. Um, about two inches. They are clips, and the clips are great, as you can see. They're sticking on this um, piece here. They're two and a half or two and a quarter inches. Eh, they're two inches. Okay, they start at 10 I have a bracelet that matches it along with it. Okay, so I see Rosa in at 10 first. That's for the earrings. We'll start with the earrings. I have a bracelet and a big, the pin has started a little bit more. I don't know who it is, but it's beautiful. I like the pin. Okay, so this is for the earrings. I see Rosa in first at 10. Sure, you can go up a buck. You went up two. That's fine too. Okay, so high bids uh, 12 with, with Cheryl. Thank you. Thirteen. Yeah, I think it's really nice. There's a a, a um a Kramer just like it, but there is no marking on this. So either it's a replica or it was part of a set or something. Wait, there may be a marking on it. Okay, high bid is fourteen with Cheryl. Um, give me a moment. Let me look. Maybe I'm not. I may have missed it. You really have to look everywhere on the jewelry. Because markings aren't always, especially like gold markings. This is not gold. This is beautiful. Though, it's for pearls. I don't see it. So 15 is the high bid with, with Rosa. I think, like, look, this was in the same in the boxes that he gave me. This person made themselves a set with these. Okay, so the earrings, thank you for letting me know that you're out, Cheryl. The earrings are going to sell for 15 to Rosa in 5, 4, 3. They got a good weight to them, actually. 2, 1. So... This is, these are riveted. These are well made. Nice earrings. Congrats. They're, they went for 15 to Rosa for the oh, met wire, metal wire. Uh, I did just take Tylenol, right? You guys got to see me guzzle them down and everything, did I? <laughs> wow. I'm tired. It's been, it's been one hell of a week for me. Um, okay. Let me find the bag. I can't even remember. Thank you, Rosa. Congrats. And thank you, Cheryl. All right. The brooch. How about the bracelet or the brooch next? All the same type of thing. They go together. The brooch is amazing. It is very large. Faux pearls. They look well. They're hooked on here well, too. Oh, but they're stabbed. They don't do that a lot with, like, stabbed pearls a whole lot. Um, hi, Tonya. This is a five-inch brooch. It's you, Mungo. I did take it, guys. Thank you. You guys got to witness me. Anna's looking a little rough been a rough week you missed the baby picture want to see it again tonya showed the baby a little ways back oh my god adorable little six pound tiny innocent little thing my baby listen to me <laughs> i tell my daughter that's going to be concerned mom's going to try to steal my baby um look at it it's amazing right um this i will start and I'll, I'll share it. Do you have a minute to hang around? Just one minute. Let me do this real quick. I don't know. I want to start it low. Like I said, I'm, I'm being, I, 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 I was blessed. I could be say $20. It's amazing. It's a big, I don't know who made it. I like it. It doesn't sound like it goes on my coat. I, I've been wearing the brooches. I'm turning into an old lady. The gray's coming out. Like, <laughs> I've been dyeing my hair in a long time. It is about a five inch brooch. It's faux pearls. I don't know who the maker is, but it's wired like the earrings and bracelet. Look. Yep. 
you are congratulations oh my god and if they live with you i mean you're you're gonna like it you're gonna like it listening i mean there's nothing like a baby this is like little izzy her name's izzy bell i i just have to when she's upset like if she's crying even the slightest bit just have to like hug her and rock her and a little just falls asleep little baby noises i mean it's so sweet <laughs> i'm in love okay i'm gonna pass on it let me show my baby um <laughs> I'm going to pass. I like it. I'm going to wear it. I really like it. I think that is very classy. Um, it'll go on me. My coat. Let me show the baby. I, I have to just show her. She's cute. She's just a tiny little, tiny little nugget. Little six pounder. Almost 19 inches. Hold on. It's a bad. It's showing her eyes like, okay. Hold on. I'm like defense of her the way my baby looks. It's my daughter's baby. The lighting's weird. There we go. She's cute. Little tiny round head. She did have a little cone head. When she came out, Maury briefly, briefly birthed with, uh, amazingly, without whining a lot. I thought she was going to be hard. She she did a champion job. Okay. Just adorable, my baby. Okay. This is a gold tone um, bracelet. I'll start this. I'll start this at 10, too, if anybody wants it. It's it's a base metal under there, like, a, in its gold tone. Um, it's not silver or anything, but I think it's nice. And let me give you a measurement. Yeah, thank you. She's, she's so sweet. She likes being held. Kurt Mario, like, leave to go in the bathroom, show her in the bassinet. Oh, she like, she wanted out. She wanted out. <laughs> so, come on, I have the baby. I spent six hours with her today. I, tomorrow, I have to come home. I, it's hard. It's hard to leave. Good. Okay. Does anybody want this? <laughs> I'm talking about the baby. Look how happy I am. I'm truly, I'm, I love babies. Especially mine. Okay, Charles at 10. It's a nice bracelet. It matches those earrings, I, I think, that I just sold. But somebody may not want a bracelet. It's a nice bracelet, though. These are a bunch of wires all pronged in there. Not pronged, but like squashed together, whatever you want to call that, and stuck in the end there. Okay, that's the best I can do. <laughs> It's very typical. That's a very, very, very uh, basic explanation of what's going on with the bracelet. And that's all I got. No, I'm kidding. I am happy. Can you tell? It's great to be happy. Um, there it is. I think it's a nice bracelet for 10 bucks. Um, yeah. I'm going to call it 54321. Sold to Cheryl for 10. It's nice. It's a nice quality. It's not faded. Everything in that box is pretty good. I, I have stuff to pull out for Wednesday. So check out that video. You never know what's going to be in it. Okay. Um, this is a wire wire bracelet. I'm silly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I can buy that. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. I had to find your bag. All right. That's a nice suite. I have this. I showed this last week. I'm going to start this at 75. Let's just roll it out and see if anybody likes it. It's nice. It's a 13 bird. Um, 13. It's a fetish bird necklace. I think it's 25 less than I did. This is vintage liquid silver. You have the larger bird in the 12 smaller. It's a liquid silver fetish bird necklace. That's the back. Let me hang it up. See if anybody's interested in it. It's cute. Liquid silver. I don't I didn't go back out to look for sterling or anything. This is leftover. Um I do have I have rings, but they've been they're in the box I've shown them before. Um I'm going out tomorrow. I'm going to look. I'm going to a couple stores I haven't visited in a while. I bet you they, they're bulked up with what I want, hopefully. All right. That is the Liquid Silver Vintage Native American. I believe Navajo, 13 uh, birds. There are 12 of the little ones, fetish bird necklace. And this one's kind of long. I think I gave the measurement right. Thank you. I'm a little bit dizzy. I think I'm exhausted. Um, I have like a headache. 24 inches. I just want to pull my hair off, but it looks real bad. Okay. It's a little fetish for it's not real heavy. I think this one's 15 grams or 17. So it's not a real heavy one. But um, they have them in different sizes and 
different amounts of birds. There's double layered. This is a single layered one. Yeah, what did I say? 24 inches. We'll pass on it. I think I showed that long enough. I'm exhausted. I am feeling it. Um, let me see what else I wanted to show. I have I have more jewelry. A lot of costume. Um, but I sold a lot of it actually. Oh my god, what about this? I think this is amazing. This is a Raza. The signature is ever so lightly inside there. Okay. It's made to look like bone. Look how amazing it is. R-A-Z-Z-A. That is matte finished metal and the trunks. Um, is that you, Eva? Tusk or metal? Her cat probably knocking on her door. All right. That's the back. And it's made to look like bone. It's some kind of plastic. I saw it listed as celluloid. I think this is from the 70s. I think they stopped using celluloid at that point, right? So it is it is light. I don't know what kind of plastic it is. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Tony. It's so sweet. Thank you. I could use a coffee right now. I wish Maury. I miss Maury riding for me. She used to go ride and not get me. <laughs> no, I miss my daughter. 20 inches. Thank you, Tony. It's okay. It's Eva. Yeah, little Eva. I don't know. She's crabby. She's at that age. Um, sometimes to me. Four and a half inches on this thing. Okay, this big elephant. I think it's cool. I did some pricing. And I'm going to say 40 starting bit if anybody wants the elephant. It's amazing. This is something I think Maury wanted from me. But she ain't getting it. No, I'm joking. Um, she, she gets, she's been getting a piece of jewelry almost every day for the last two weeks. But um, spring ring. And heavy chain, Raza, R-A-Z-Z-A. I do think it's like 70s on it when they were doing that style of thing. But it's a big, large and in charge. Trunk up, fantastic elephant necklace. And it is signed Raza ever so lightly in here. I... Either way, it's an elephant. <laughs> I think it's cool. And I'm dropping it everywhere. I'm doing a bad presentation. Um... Some of these busts are questionable. I, I can hang it on the green one. It's longer and it'll show better. I think it's cute. Look. See it? There it is. Elephant. Trunk up. I have another elephant that is bone. This is not bone. It's made to look like bone. They even put some, um, like some... They dyed, put some stain on it to make it look bone. <laughs> I was going to say something funny. I, I'm going to not do that. Why not? It looks like somebody ran a nail through its head. Okay, go, don't get mad, guys. I'm, I don't abuse the animals. I'm quite, quite kind to all of my pets, but I think it's funny. Um, yeah, she's 14 now, but yeah, I, can, I just, I'm, you know... I, I don't hear everything she's saying, and I'll ask her to repeat herself. You know how girls are at that age, especially at that time of the month and when they rip your face off. Um, all right, nobody wants my elephant. I guess I can get all excited about him for him. No, He's cool. Yeah, it's my old, my youngest, my last. I like it. All right, we'll pass on a little Raza for now. He was also in the box. He had a, there was some variety. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think this is really pretty. This is a Renoir. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, Renoir. Okay. Brass. Look, it's open. It's a cuff. It's copper. It's signed in here. This, I will start at this one. R-E-N. Oh, I Renoir. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is signed right in there with a copyright. It, it's a, a simple bracelet here. Um. There it is. It's copper. It's average size, and you can change it. It's actually might be bigger. I'm going to start it. I, I don't know what to start it at. This, I'm going to start it at 24. Okay, it's nice. It's copper. Um, I like the design on it. There is a design. It's called something. I'm going to tell you what. I, I didn't write it down. This is two and a half inches. going to be made bigger. It is a copper cuff signed Renoir. Thank you, Jeannie, on the inside. And I think they had a name. There's a name to it. Uh, I didn't write it down. It's copper, signed of copyright over there. 
and mm -hmm. the name of the Renoir. Can you see that? It's right there. Okay. The cuff. I'll just wait a minute. I'm not going to wait too long. It's clean. It looks brand new. All right. It's nice. No, she's. A, I know what's going on. All right, I'm gonna sell it to Jeannie for twenty four five four three two one. Sold to Jeannie. Thank you. Does anybody like that? Just fell out of my hair. It has a piece of my hair on it. My hair is a mess. I'm really excuse my parents. Okay, I'm not looking top of line or anything tonight, like at all. And I know that. I'm sorry. I'm here to sell jewelry. It should be camera down though. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> my hair needs dyed. Can't afford it. I'm joking. <clears throat> I'll get it done this. I'll get it done next week. Actually, thank you. It's nice. That's a nice price. I I'd seen silver one. Okay, that one's copper, but the silver ones were. It was called Sauter or Sauter or something. There was a name to that cuff, and the silver ones were over like hundred dollars, like hundred fifty and higher. That one's not silver. It's same maker though. Okay, look. Out of my hair. Okay, I have. Oh, I have this. This is so cute. Look at this little set. I have this sequin and sequin earrings that go with it. Look, this is a little flower power type thing. Cute. This starts at fifteen. The set. Let me start it with that. Black sequins on this. Um, that looks like a I uh, rose bud, and these look like bloomed ones or something. I. This is, they were in the box together, so here they are together. They start at 15. I thought I marked that. Okay. This is about three inches. You have sequins all over it. It's set in the center. That's metal enamel. So it is metal painted with enamel. And it is three and three and three quarter inches on the brooch. And the earrings are about an inch and a quarter probably. I think they're cute. Or an inch. A little over an inch. An inch and an eighth. They are Paris gold tone. Like little nubs, you have the brooch and the earrings. I'm off track. They're kind of cute. The rose is pretty, just the rose, but it's black. Somebody liked black that was in this. Even this is worth 15 alone, minus the earrings. It's worth more than that, actually. Okay, Cheryl's in at 15. But it's very pretty. Made to look like the black faceted, uh, like the black glass, but these are sequins. And then the earrings that they matched up with them are round. These is, I think it looks nice together. Okay. I'll just wait a minute. I can wait more. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it now. Five, four, three, two, one sold sure for 15. Thank you. Let me put it in your bag. Hi, does anybody want to see the John Rivers from last week? I think they're pretty amazing. If anybody likes them, I, I sold two of them. Cheryl, I know that, so you're probably not interested. But um, how about the compacts? Did anybody want to see those? It's a sequin flower set. Let me show you what I have there. Why not? Um, let me put this in your bag. Thank you. Congrats. Let me find your bag. That's Bruce and Patrick and Kathy. This is Cheryl. Thank you. Um, I will. Okay. Um, these are. I have the big necklaces there. These are beautiful. Um, this is mink. I believe this is mid-century hair. God, my hair is a mess and shit. Sorry. Whatever. I, I didn't give a crap. I'm not trying to be a model. <laughs> it's never been my thing. Okay. Mink. Um, it's fur. Okay. It's compact. This is made in the USA. It's marked there. It has the little pads. Looks like it's never been used. Made in the USA. And um, I didn't can't find a comparison to this minky. It's fur. I believe it's real fur. Mid-century, made in the USA. You have plastic back there. I believe it's, I would guess, mid-century. Okay. I don't know who the maker of it is. I don't know. But you have a little poofy. And I'm saying mid-century. It's brass. It's, it's a pure guess on that. Okay. But there's the prongs. Fur. Cute. Little compact. There was a sticker under there. You could probably get that off probably when they sold it. Okay. It's cute. Um, let me see. I I couldn't find anything to compare this to. I don't know. How about this? I'll start at 30. Um, it is fur. It's vintage. It's nice. It's in good shape. This one's in really, really good shape. 
you have the clear rhinestones all surrounding there. And then you have this piece of, which I do believe is real fur um, on there. I think it's real. Clear rhinestones all the way around. Brass finish. There was a sticker under there. We're pretty original. You could get that off. I didn't work at it. Um, there's the mirror. There's that piece there. You open it. Like I said, made in the USA. And there's a place for you to put base makeup in there. So I've never seen a, a fur compact before myself. I don't know if that's an appeal or something gross to people. <laughs> But somebody had it and apparently probably liked it, apparently. Um, snaps open there. Push this button and it pops and it opens. And you have a button you push down in here to open that side there. It's hinged here with the hinge in the back. It's brass. Oh, kind of interesting. Different. That's a fur. Let me see if it really looks like fur. Ew. I don't know. I think so. I think it is. I did see like mink purses and stuff like in that time period where they were like decorated mink purses. But I didn't see that. I couldn't find the compact. I did try to look them as much as I could. I stopped. So I ferried off her for that. I'll pass on it. No interest on it. Is anybody interested in any of them? I have a carry-all and I have a fan one. The fan one is this is this is the original. This is older. It's this mid-century too. I believe that's the dating on it. It's a fan. This is this pad is old. Okay. It's it's old. Um I cleaned the base makeup out of it. There's the center part. This is a fan. It's pretty. Um I think it's brass, possibly gilt with gold. I'm not sure. I don't see a name on it. It's not magnetic. I don't see anybody's name. Hi, Alina. Again. CK, say good night. Okay, good night. Thank you for being here. All right. There's the top. Let me see if it's. She, she didn't answer me. Um, okay. So I'm going to start it um, lower than what I was originally going to. Um, there's the back. There's the bottom. This is a nice size one. It's actually nice. The mirror is in great shape. Unless I could use a wipe off. But you have this piece that unlocks. I'll start this at 30. It has the original powder puff on it. And it, you could replace it. It's a little beat up. Okay. Because it's older. Um, I took the base makeup out. It, it was a mess. So I cleaned it out. But you have this nice fan uh, compact that opens here and did I, I think I showed you guys right you have a place to put base makeup in there I don't know the dating on this okay I could be wrong it could be 1970s I'm thinking mid-century I don't know this is original though and it has it looks it's beat okay <laughs> but I kept it in there so it is a fan um compact It's about four inches, I think. Let me measure it just so I know. Where's my... I don't know. There it is. It's behind her. Eh, it's four and, a, four and three quarters, actually. Pretty fan. I think it's pretty. You um, push the fan in and it pops up, like right here. You push that. That's what you have. And it opens to... A pretty fan, a pad that is still here, but you could cut one out and replace it if you wanted. Really, it's usable. I'm not. I'm not really not sure on the dating. I'd seen them listed as mid-century. I, I have no idea. It could be a remake over and over again. You know, they can make one every year for the next forty years. You know, I, I can't say just because the one I saw online because I didn't verify it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there are no markings on it either. I don't know who the maker is. Okay, I think I'm going to pass on that, too. I'm not even going to show the other one unless somebody wants to see it. All right, uh, um, we'll pass on that. If somebody wants to see the carry-all, let me know. I have this carry-all. Um, I have two Joan River necklaces. I can start a little with that. I can't price yet. I just don't know what it's worth. Can I pass on that? There we go. Oh, 
I feel like I've carried 100 pounds. So you know you're getting old, can't even pick a baby up. I can sort um for like hours. How about is anybody interested in the hesh um the pearls? I have here, I'll do I thought these were nice. I I bolted these up. I put these together. I don't know. I think they're nice together. You have you want to see the carry all? Okay, it's cute. And that is definitely mid-century. I'll do that first. Okay. It's definitely mid-century. Now, I will, there's a little imperfection on the mirror. I don't know if somebody put a wet pad in here and damaged it. Um, look, it has, or if there's a sticker, I, it's not, does not appear to be coming off. You see, I mean, it needs wiped off better, but you see, I was going to start it cheaper. These go pretty high. I'm sure you've priced them. See that there? Up here is, needs wiped off, I think. The mirror is not in the best shape. I mean, you can still see yourself. But do you see what I'm talking about? You can see that, right? Hold on. There we go. I don't know what that's from. It doesn't wipe off. You have, this is pretty clean. This is three layers. This looks like the original poof. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. These are mid-century. It's a place to hold your lipstick. This is in good shape. It slides in there. Um, look, it's never, this has never been used. The mirror, I don't know what happened to it. Does have a little problem. So you can still see yourself. But there, that is there, just so you know. Okay, and um, it's I don't I don't know. Look, made to look like mother of pearl. It's painted. I don't know what it's actually made out of. I think it's some kind of acrylic or something, plastic. Okay, it's brass, and then it has another layer, or is it two more layers? Let's see. I think it's one more. You open it down here, place to keep money or cigarettes or something. Doesn't have to clip like for the money, but you could put money in there or something. So it's a carry all. That's what they call it. It's not really a compact. Um, well, it is kind of. It does have a compact place, but it also has a place like to keep money or something in your lipstick. So they call it a carry all. It's cute. I'll start it much lower because it has that problem, but it's still nice. And these are pretty, these are pricey. I'll start it at 30. Um, why not? I think it's cute. Does have the little thing on the mirror. If that doesn't bother you, then you can get this out of our tail. It's cute. You can still see yourself. Just do you see that? There you go. That is let me make sure it's not gonna come off after I <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, it's cute. I wear chapstick. I'm not big on lipstick. I don't like like that pasty feeling on my face, but I will if I'm going out or something, which I have. I haven't done lately. I need to. There's how it opens. A little carry-all. They're pretty pricey. I see some people have them priced insanely high. I don't know if their mirror is great either. And it honestly, somebody in one place priced it $200. I think they were insane. I'm not sure it's worth that. But, okay, Linda's at 30 It's nice. It's cute. You can keep something in it. Maybe a chapstick. All right, I'm going to call it to you, Linda. It's nice. It's kind of heavy. Um, but it'll be all right. I'll box it up so nothing happens to the, the cross. I'll go, and, you know, I know how to box. All right. Five, four, three, um, two, one. Sold to, um, sold to Linda for a 30. Thank you. And that's a carry all. All, um, thing. It's just called carry all. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, they'll, they'll, uh, I'll box them up, but we're sure. There it is, the star. The star is beautiful. I thought it was. I have. Oh, I was like, I thought these were nice. Thank you, Linda. Congrats. That's not the best bus to show it on. But I, I had twisted up. <laughs> this is a strand of garnet. And um, I put an, a, an enhancer on it. It's short. I had it on. It's like fitting. It's like a 15 incher. Okay. This is a 15 inch. It's going to be a choker up there. You could like twist them differently, like they did this necklace. Well, not really, because they're you'd have to cut them to do that. But I thought it was nice. It's a strand of garnet with an enhancer. I put the enhancer on it. You could put something on there that you wanted. Like um I don't know, some kind of pendant or something. I can't even find what the hell happened to the, there it is. I had this on it. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. It's vintage. You can keep it hanging around. I thought it was cute. I had one a while ago that I bought off of 
I bought it off Doug and I sold it. It's, it looks almost just like that. All right, there's that. <laughs> Not great. But anyways, I thought it was kind of cute. I put two necklaces together. It's a garnet strand and an am and a uh, clear court strand. You could wear them separate. These are long necklaces. I have them doubled and they're at 15 inches. They're like 30 inches each. Okay. I doubled it like and put it together. The strands are at least 30. Kind of looks Christmasy, but um, it's nice, I think. You can wear them either way. I'm going to start them cheap. You can have the enhancer with it. I'll start them at, um, at 20 for both. You get the, uh, you can have the enhancer. You can just take it off and just use them regular. It could be twisted up better than this. It's kind of slipped off, but you have garnet and, um, it's a nice garnet and you have clear quartz on here. Two long strands. They are strands. I put the, I put them together and put an enhancer on them. That's all. So you can wear them along. These were in the bag with like the pearls and stuff. I don't know. I thought I'd, maybe I should show them along. They're just long strands. Nothing real exciting about them. The chips. I like them not in, like twisted up. I think it makes, I think it's nice. But it's going to be short. It's like a 15, 16 inch necklace um, that way. I have a pink one. I have these pearls are pretty. I'll show the pearls are amazing. Cashy pearls. And I'm broke. Nobody wants this. You know, you're not a designer. <laughs> Don't pass on it. I'll sell them at some other time. Um, I didn't like how tight it was on my neck. I mean, people wear them. I, I like short necklaces, but. Oh, I have garnet too. Let me show this. I have amethyst, one that's amethyst and, uh, not amethyst, one that's garnet and rose quartz too. Two strands. These are actually, uh, again, the same size. They, they are measuring up to like 15, 16 inches with this uh, enhancer. No, no, um, Linda, I think it's damage to the mirror. If you're not interested in let me know, it's okay. Um, I don't think so, though. It is actually like... I don't know what happened to it. Sometimes you get imperfections. Things happen to old stuff like that. So if you just change your mind, just let me know. It's fine. I'll, I'll keep it and keep something in it till I, or just hang around until I sell it. If you want it, it's yours. If not, just let me know. Okay. So I was, I don't know why I'm showing you that. I, those are two garnet. I mean, garnet and um, rose cords. All right. What do I have here? I have clustered here. It's not a smudgy type of thing. It's actually a damaging. I, it almost looks as if, I don't know how it happened, maybe heat or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's not burnt. You can still see yourself, but there's an overcast over it. It happens to older mirrors sometimes. Okay, you still want it? Okay. Sorry. Um, th this is nice. This is a sterling clasp. Okay, look at it. It's a box clasp. That's a stone. It's glass and it's not stone. I don't want to miss um, inform anybody. It's actually a piece of glass. It looks like a watermelon, like kind of. This is sterling silver. Um, these are uh, Heshi and not not Heshi, Keshi, and um, not round so broke pearls. It is a measurement. I think it's nice. I believe the blue ones look dyed to me. That's my guess on this. I think it's still a nice necklace. Um, it's 24 inches. Let me hang it up. And the pearls are nice. They are, um, you have the brook kind of, some people call those potatoes um, pearls on here. The blue, um, the blue look dyed to me. I mean, that's a guess on ex expert here. And then you have the white keshi, and they're beautiful. And, and then you have these baroque. These ones are not round. That's why I'm calling them broke. And the luster is very nice on, on, on all of them, especially these ones. Okay. I do think these ones might be dyed. I'm going to start this. The clasp is nice. It's a nice big sterling clasp. And it's like a bluish in mixture of different colors in there. I'll start this. Um, these are really pretty pearls. So... God, I'm hot. Crystals. There's little crystals on each, either end, each end, actually. And the luster is very lovely on these. It's long. I don't know. 30. I think that's cheap. Um, 
nice sterling clasp. Um, these are crystals here and then pearls. I do think these ones are dyed. That's what it's looking like to me. And then you have the, these are, and they, the last dress very beautiful. Let me take it off the green. I see sure on at 30 and show it to you um, on the white pearls. I do think the blue are dyed. I know I could be wrong. Let's see. Let's look at close up and personal on these pearls. Actually, I can't tell. I can't tell. They might even be dyed. I don't know. They're be it's a beautiful necklace. Uh, um, that, that's a great starting bin on the necklace. These are called um Keshi pearls. And they sell them by the gram. They can be quite costly, kind of look like cornflakes, you know what I mean, on that pearl flat. And I don't know if the blue or dyed, honestly, but this is a sterling finding piece here, and that is glass. So it's pretty, and I'm going to call it. I'm not going to waste too much time. Um, five, four, three, two, one, sold to Cheryl. They're, they're beautiful for that. They're a nice pair of pearls. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah, it's... I don't know if they're dyed, to be honest. Um, there are blue pearls. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Congrats. Enjoy them. They're lovely. It's a lovely pair of pearls. Okay. Cashy and Baroque. The Baroque, it just the luster on them is amazing. And then there's blister pearls. Okay, so we have a combination here. If Keshi, you're having some blisters and you have Baroques, there's three varieties and three colors on this necklace, actually. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time, not going to lie. <laughs> I fear it's worth that, at least, because it's how beautiful it was. Um, worth more than that, I believe. All right, I have strands here. I have a garnet one with brass findings. It's dainty. I'm going to start it. I'll start it low. I'll start this at 20, okay? It's It's got shapes on it. It's cute. Look at it. Um, Brass, uh, a brass barrel clasp up here. And you have, these are uh, little garnet, sh different shapes. And it's not real long. I've sold a lot of these, like, look, Art Deco, or Art Deco type thing. This is, I don't, it's shorter. And not quite as long. I've sold a lot of strands of this, should I say. Not a lot, but a few. This is 12 inches around the neck. Down 12 inches total. And it's pretty. Hi, hi, Lori. Hi. It's nice. You see you have the little, like, uh, diamonds and these little clusters. And they look like those, uh, like they're from out of the pomegranate. <laughs> it's nice. All right, we're going to move fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Lori for 20. Thank you, Lori, and hello. Oh, did you hear that? I didn't break anything. <laughs> Good to see you. 20 for the, the garnet. You may have gotten one of the big strands. I, I don't know why that's popping in my head. If not, you might have a big strand. This will go great with it. Um, I think it will. All right. I feel like I've been lifting weights. I've been holding a six-pound baby. I mean, come on, Anna. I don't whip, right? Can't handle a baby. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is really nice. These are chunks um, of amethyst, but it's nice and dark. I'm going to start them low, too. Um, it's nice. Uh, I'll start it at, 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 at 18. I'm stuttering. Um, it's nice. It's a strand. It's nice color. Look. A long strand of fairly big chips of I see Alina in 18. Thank you. Fairly big chips of um, amethyst. And it's 34 inches. 17, you know, it's a 30 and 34 around the neck. That's my bust right here. Oh, it is. It's nice. It's um, that's a good buy, I think, for that. I should take the other necklaces apart and sell them separate, huh? What do you guys think? Does anybody want these additional garnets? I could take them out of what I put together and sell just the garnets alone <laughs> or something. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice color, actually. It's very pretty. But anybody else interested? If not, I'm going to call it to Alina. I'm going to call it 5432 on Soldolina. 
Yeah, she's way too little for that. I'm getting a rocking chair. Um, it's gonna either go in the living. We have two living rooms here, oddly. Uh, one with the lizard, and because uh, it's a family room, so we can keep our lizard company. And then we have the one upstairs with no furniture. Well, I'm gonna get the rocking chair for my bedroom, and it'll be slid in and out of the lizard room. It's not a lizard room. It's not dirty. I keep my lizard clean. Um, I chain. I clean them daily. It's it has a. It's a little TV room. I'm, I'm gonna put. I'm getting one because I can rock her. Instead of like holding her and like up in my, I can lay her on me and rock without having to, it'll be easier. <laughs> yeah, I, mom's in, I'm in love. I mean, it's just crazy. Okay. Still love my Davy. I miss my Davy. It's been a while. Been at the, I'm getting a break. The dad's able to be home. His father's it's starting to get warm out. That's going to be a problem for you. But, um, Yeah. Yeah, she's so cute. This is Black Onyx and Quartz. Nice. I think it's a nice combination. It's just a strand. It'll start at 15 if anybody likes it. Um, I'll show it to you close up. It is clear quartz and black onyx. It's testing is not glass, so I'm calling it black onyx. It's it is a total length of it's down to 14, a 13 and a half, so I guess 26. I thought it was interesting. I kind of like it. Um, I might wear it if I don't sell it with something. Look, I can wear anything in it, so right? as long as I don't break it. It's knotted. Um, doesn't always happen. I try to set things certain places. Um, I need to clean again. I need time to I need time to get it together. All right. Quartz and black onyx. Um, look, it's really shiny faceted. It is a strand. It's a simple strand. There were a lot of those in that bag with the pearls and the, the sage and made up for it, though, and the pearls. What else did I get in there? I have the bone elephant necklace. All right. I don't think anybody's interested. I'm going to pass on this. It's fine. I'm moving fast, but that's okay. If, I, if anybody saw anything they wanted that I showed in the past, don't be afraid to ask me. Um, those will stay there. These ones I showed, these are strands. I'll, I'll probably, I don't know, something will happen to them. Um, I may try to get my daughter to string those up. Oh, somebody, I have these costumes. Let's see. I have a couple, I have a really beautiful, um, mother of pearl necklace. You know what? I, I gotta give that to somebody. I own I, I owe somebody something. Um, okay. There we go. Um, not that I own something. I, I I'm gonna gift that. Okay, so forget about that. I mean it was just in a mother of pearl necklace. It was nice though. But this is really cute. The set I will start. This is a really nice set, actually. This is vintage. It's Sarah Coventry. They've been making jewelry, but what what's it been? Since 1949, something like that. I could be wrong on that. It's signed Sarah, I think. Look. Look how cute. Pastelli colors. This is a pin in a pair of earrings. You have a pair of clip earrings. And <laughs> looking for something to stick the pin on. And I'll stick it on here. So I have that pin. What did I say I was starting it at? I don't know. I'll start. This is a Sarah Coventry set. I'll start this set at 12 bucks. It's cute. Um, I like the pastel colors. There it is. It's any of pair of earrings, clip earrings that go with it. So it's a little set of an earrings and a brooch. Yeah, it is good for Easter. It is actually signed Sarah, I think. It's hard to see since. I think it's Sarah Coventry, definitely on the pin and the earrings say Sarah or Sarah Cove. Okay, that's a cute. Oh, good God. Hold on, my guys. I thought it was cute. It, it's acrylic. It's opened in the back to let light in. You can see the earrings are open. And so is the brooch. And it's signed back there. So um, it's a, it is a little Sarah Coventry set. It's cute. I like the color of the... Uh, Plastic, it's plastic. We call it that. I hear these cats. Anna's overheated. <clears throat> what time is it? Oh, see, I'm, I'm not just not. Uh, I had to do three hours to force myself. 
Let's see what else I have. Let's pass on this. Um, I thought it was really cute. Um, that was a good price. If anybody sees it after the fact and you want it, you, you, I, I'll sell it to you at that. I think that's a good price. It's cute. This is nice. Doesn't that kind of look like a Florenza there? I don't know who it is. It doesn't have a mark Let me see if I have anything in there. I already offered that last week. I have Goldstone just strands. There was a number of just strands in his box. Um, those are Goldstone in that bag, not the box. The costume jewelry was all costume. Then he came and asked me to go in the bag, and I said, yeah. <clears throat> this is the Bone Elephant. I think it's adorable. Look. I showed the Raza. That wasn't bone. It was made to look like it. This actually is. His trunk is all, he's carved. And this rings around, and it's all bone. I know that's gross to some people, but it's, it is what it is. I didn't make it. Um. There's what it looks like. How cute it is. I think it's a cute necklace. It, like, rings there on his nose. If anybody likes it, um, it is bone. That's what he said it was. He showed me how to tell. I, I still get confused, okay, on that. I'll start it at 20. I think it's adorable. It's a nice long necklace. Um, you have the um, it clasped over on his little trunk, okay? There's the back of it. Okay, and the front. Cute little elephant. I, don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm thirsty. <clears throat> I'm going to get my kid to wait on me. Give me a cup of Coke and something to eat. <laughs> yeah, my headache's going away. Thank you. I think it was, um, I don't know why I had a headache. I had to take my blood pressure pill when I got on. I'm tired. I've been going since 6.30 in the morning. <clears throat> getting Eve up for school and um go and help you know help Amori. She she gets she was sick. She gets sick <clears throat> a little bit. Okay, so Elena, I'm gonna call it five four three two one to Elena for twenty, and that's a really cute necklace. You're you're gonna like it. Okay, it's cute. I thought it was adorable that it rings on his trunk. I have the Raza too. I didn't sell that like this trunk up. This was 40. It's our 1970s or 80s Raza. I'm saying 80s. They said 70s. Could be 70s. All right. So, Alina, for 20 for the elephant. Thank you. It's cute. I thought it was cute. Yeah. I'm going to try to get up. Well, see, I after I <clears throat> Since you guys bought more, most everybody did who, besides one person, I'll try to get hers out. Everybody else, I'm going to invoice tomorrow morning. And it'll be Thursday. And for those of you, there have been a few of you who've been sitting around who had been paid and, well, paid Monday, you know, if it, can, well, paid like Wednesday morning or else later on Thursday night and I didn't get it ready, I, they will be coming out and there'll be something a little bit extra in there for you. I'm sorry. It's been crazy. I'm not going to lie. Um, not crazy, busy. It's, it's busy. It's been a, it's a great thing. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Happy that the everything came, the baby's healthy. Thank you. What agate necklace? Did I have an agate necklace now? Or did I, what agate? I didn't, I have an agate necklace I showed that, oh, you know what I do have? I have caged amethyst. Absolutely amazing, actually. Do I have an agate necklace, Pastor? I did have. Well, you know which one you got. <laughs> okay, let me look. I do have this. This is, I think this is caged amethyst. I just picked it up with my feet, guys. They're clean. See, I'm multi-talented. I can write with my feet, too. Now, this one, maybe it is agate. I, I think it's amethyst. Are you talking about the caged Something's caged and it's stone, okay? I do think it's amethyst, but gold tone, that's pretty. I have that, and I have this as quartz, and I don't know what, is that obsidian or Dalmatian jasper? I don't know, okay? Snowflake jasper, maybe. I have that. I don't know if I, oh my goodness, I, I checked so much. Is this it, Patrick? Cool field. Wait a minute, let me think about that. Oh, okay. 
I do not. Where the hell did that go? Oh my, where did you go? Hold on, I was talking to it. Okay, it's not here. Where are you? I know what you're talking about. Goldfield Findings. Beautiful necklace. Where the hell is it? Let me find it. I do have it. It didn't get mixed up there. Oh, oh, this, I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, but we'll do this next. Let's do this. This is Goldfield Findings and Pearls. And I don't know what this black is, but it looks like stone too. But I have no idea what this is. Does anybody know what this is? Is this bullseye agate? Is that what that is? I didn't price it. Um, I'll start it at a good price. Pearls. Is that bullseye? That, uh, does anybody know? Eh, I'm always asking for knowledge, right? Um, why not? That is a gold filled clasp and all the findings in any of pearls. This is what you were talking about, right? I have no idea what it is, okay? <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of... Is this what you're talking about? This has to be it. Because this is the only gold-filled one. Thank you for that. Um, That helped me. And I do... I don't know if this is... I don't know what kind of agate this is. But I'll start it. It has pearls on it. Freshwater culture brokey because they're not round pearls the black is some kind of stone i believe it is semi um translucent when i hold it up so i don't know and this i don't know being the bullseye egg it probably is that real expensive stones i may want to spit that up i might give you a good deal either way but i don't want to sell 200 dollar necklace for <laughs> let me see i don't i've never had bullseye agate yet okay i don't know anything about it if if that's what it even is I'm just curious. Guys, I'm pricing right. It's not bullseye. What the hell is it called? Guys, what's the name on it? I don't think it's bullseye. I'm looking at bullseye. Wow, bullseye is expensive. All right. I guess I don't need to know what it is. Oh my god, there's a a pulls of light. Here's Anna trying to look up. I don't know. I have no idea what it is and don't know what kind of agate it is. It doesn't matter. Let me throw a price at it. Um, it's gold filled. It's pearls. And it's some kind of agate pieces here. Okay. I will start it at, uh, at 20. I don't know. 28. That's that's good enough. I don't know what the agate is. So I not. <coughs> looks a little different than what I've seen as bullseye. It does look like an X, X agate. Okay. Patrick's at 28. <laughs> Thank you. It's the X agate. pearls and there's the fine news it's 14 20 percent of 14k i'm gonna call it for you five four three two one sold to patrick for 28 thank you no point in wasting time i do have the little cage damn with this we'll see if anybody wants that i think it's pretty this is agate of some sort <laughs> i have to i'll figure out what it is you're welcome thank you agate necklace gold filled pearls okay let me find your bag. Um, got exhausted. Um, sorry, I'm gonna quit saying it. I probably should have a cup of coffee. All right, this is this is a um, I don't know. It's gold tone. It's not sticking to a magnet. There is no clasp. I'm gonna start this at um. This is nice actually. I'll start it at, at 24. It's caged, caged amethyst. Look. I'll, I'll measure it. It's pretty. Okay. Everything is caged up there. And, and look, it's wrapped. Wrapped with metal. I think it's actually a nice necklace. I like it. Here it is right there. My tape measure. Let me tell you how long it is. We have caged amethyst in a silver, a gold tone. I don't know if it's gold filled or not. Okay. It's not gold. I did scratch it. So I know it's not gold. I did have to do that because it's not magnetic. But um, Patrick's at 24. It's pretty. It's a pretty necklace. I like it. I thought it was nice. Okay. I'll just wait a minute. Yeah, thank you for... That was just laying here, the, your, the one that you wanted. I have some water. Check out cat pot. Now, this one's glass. I like the crystal better. All right, I'm going to sell it to Patrick for 24 It's a good deal, I think, on this. Um, it's pretty. 
five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Patrick for 24. Thank you. I need to go get more water, guys. Give me a minute. Let me put this in Patrick's bag and break the caged amethyst. I, I showed mostly everything. I do have some things I didn't show. Is there anything anybody... You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, that I didn't show that anybody wanted to see. Um, let me find your bag. There you are right there. Um, what about the um, Incredibles? Anybody want that? No, I'm kidding. This is actually a cool necklace, okay? Blown glass, fused glass. Look at it. We do have an explanation point in the middle. It's all sterling. Now, when I pulled it out of the $14.99 jewelry bag, I thought it was a base metal when I saw it sterling. I thought it was cool. I don't know. see if anybody likes it. It starts at $50. I don't know who the maker is. But there are one similar price a lot more than that. I was thinking I would take the explanation point out and do something. But look, you have the cobalt blue glass. Pretty cool. Black. Oh, I have those. I'll pull them out. And there's a little, the end, and art glass. And those remind me of ornaments. I have some antique ornaments. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Not going to lie. <laughs> And I like it. I think I'm going to change that out and I'm going to wear it. I won't wear it with that. I'm not going to lie. I would like to take the explanation point the hell out of it. Okay. But it still wasn't a bad find for a $14.99 bag. All right, let's pass on it. Anna's going to change it out, then maybe I'll sell it. I'm destroying a piece of work. It's probably worth $200. Um, most of the ones are priced three times, like $150. But that's, I don't know who the hell made that. So, you know, whatever. I would take that off, though. Okay, these are pretty. Um, I'll start them at 10. I'm going to start these at 10. These are pretty black faceted glass earrings with Japaning in the back. Clips, there's the back. That's the back, you see. Clip, side. And then you turn it around, and you have the beautiful. Those are glass. These are um, about three inches. Let me measure them for you, and I'll hang them up. Start them at 10. Genie's at 10. Thank you. Let's see if anybody else is interested. I'll just give it a minute. Not real long. Just while I measure them. Um, they're pretty, though. You have a pair. You have uh, one, two, four in the diamond. Are they fully pronged? They definitely are. These are a nice earring, especially for 10 bucks. They're nice, well-made, fully pronged, black faceted glass with like black diamonds. Um, I didn't give a measurement on them. Um, they're shiny. Two and, two and a half inches. So they're pretty. Clips, Japanning um, type metal, you know, coloring in the back. I'm going to call them 54321. Sold to um, Jeannie for 10. Thank you. I have a box all over the place. They, there's a box behind me I keep them in. So those are for Jeannie for 10. They're a nice earring. How about the pearls? Anybody like those? Thank you. So black glass earrings, we call rectangles. Okay. Oh, that is the chew right there for the Renoir. All right. I have these faux pearls. These are glass. These are pretty nice. Little cha-chas. Anybody like those? Let me show them. I'll just throw a price in and see if anybody goes for them. I have Fl Florenza faux pearls. They're pretty fabulous right here. A pair of crystals and a pair of fused glass. As well, the Florence are a little bit more. Um, not much. Okay, I'll show these. See if anybody wants them. Let me get them close. Got a pearl in the way. Okay, there. These are one, two, like like ten strands or something. Dangly cha cha earrings. Look, I think they're nice. They're faux pearls or glass. They are gold tone. These are clips. They are about two inches. If anybody likes some, these are just a little bit more. They're 15 if anybody's interested. I'll start them at 15. And they have a lot of movement. And everything is wired on to this piece here underneath. But I think they're nice. They are champagne color. Uh, faux pearls. No, I have the purple ones I already showed. I'm not going to show those again. I started them at 10. They're, they're rather nice. Um, this is nice. That's a Sarah Coventry buckle bracelet. Um, 
I can show a lot of everything, I think. There's some things I didn't show here, but... All right. We're going to pass on these. I think I showed them long enough. I... I'm going to go get a drink, okay? Hi. Hi, Jason. All right. I, I, yeah, I showed a lot. I do have sterling rings and stuff laying here, but, oh, they're ones I've shown before. I have a whole box, but I'm not pulling that out today. Another day, another time. Um, I'm starting to get fatigued like I'm having pain. No. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't look for that in particular and sell it. Um, no, April, I'm sorry. Um, if I find it, I sell it. I do find it. A lot of that goes private. Like when I do find it, it's time for me to go back out of town and to the place where I find the gold. Yeah, thank you. I should change it up some, but I, I don't know. I barely have the time to get a shower. So I look like <laughs> I'm fucking around. So I, so I look like this. Sorry, I just swore. Um, look, I have these. That is stone. I believe it's amethyst. Like a dream amethyst and pearls. And sterling. Yeah, I didn't have any 18K or anything. I just went to the um estate guy and I bought two boxes of jewelry from an estate. Teddy body sold me that. And that's what I sold today. I didn't even have to go anywhere else. I sold enough. Happy with that. I, I, I'm modest in a lot of ways and in regards to my earnings. No, I do buy gold, but not like I don't like go spend $400 on a gold ring and sell it for $800 or anything. I happen upon one for $10 bucks and sell it for $500. That's all, that's all I can afford. But anyways, um, I'm kidding. Um, But I do occasionally. Just I don't tonight. I have personal stuff I'm not selling. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, I'm not a gold and silver. I mean, I'm not a gold person per se. Yeah, I just had a baby. Well, I didn't. My daughter did. My God, she's adorable. Okay. Little six pounder, little fuzzy head. Okay. Sterling pearls and some kind of amethyst, I believe. She's cute. And it's been consuming me. I only shopped one time last week on Wednesday. I didn't get to really go anywhere else. It's, it's so I made do with what I had. And I have a costume jewelry following here. Um, so people that like it. Seven and three quarter inches. And I do believe it's, it's uh, I do, I think it's called Dream Amethyst on that in pearls. And there is some glass actually on it as well. It's a nice little bracelet. I think it's pretty. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you know, guys, I, I find a lot of jewelry and I made enough for me. I'm gonna be all, quite honest with you. People are like, oh, agonizing. I'm online all day. I'm online all day. I'm not. Yeah. I rolled in my car before I took my daughter the day before up to the guy at the Vice Estates out. And I spent maybe 20 minutes and paid an amount of money. And I'm making like, I don't know, I'm gonna make like 10 times what I paid them for it. And it's modest, but it's enough for me. And I'm happy with that. I'm not selling everything tonight. I have jewelry for the next couple of weeks on my Wednesday videos where I sell small and I'm okay with that because 10 bucks times 10 is 100 and that goes in my bank account. It's going to pay my cable bill. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's how I rolled. I didn't spend a lot of time. I have time for my family, which is what matters to me the most. Anyways, if anybody wants this bracelet, I will give it to you cheap. It is sterling silver. I believe that is called Dream Amethyst. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong on that. And it is brick pearls. And it's cute. If anybody wants it, is, um, it starts at, um, I don't know. I'll start at 15. I It was in a bag, in a box of stones, that a bag of stones. He sold me and I made a lot of money. Uh, I mean, I got it really cheap and I made enough already. So if anybody likes it, I think it's pretty. I don't know. It could be a self string up. Yeah, it just happens. I mean, when my myself, what I tell myself is I just need enough. And that is how I live my life. And if I get more, I get more. And if I just get enough, I just get enough. And that's how it is. And I prioritize my time for my family. I have a big family of, I have a lot of children in my life and I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah. It does just happen sometimes too. You happen upon things like amazing things you know i won't do it um i don't source online i kind of refuse to i go out and about and i use my hands and i do well enough i mean i'm 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 doing well enough i'm not rich but i'm comfortable enough to where 
I don't need to be extravagant. It's not a requirement of mine in any sense. As you can see, plain nails, unpainted. <laughs> and I'm happy because I have so much in my life to be happy for. Anybody else want to see my baby? I've been showing her off. I wasn't even supposed to. I've been showing that baby all day. But Genius is yours at 54321. Sold. Yes. Um, sold to, uh, to Jeannie. Thank you. And a, another thing I think, too, is with me, extravagance isn't necessary for me because I believe in the simple things in life draw us much closer to. And you do come across amazing things, especially if you're doing it for years. But the simple things in life, if you can learn to be a simple person and happy with what you see that's simple, your, your life's a lot better if you don't have to prove you're something and act like you're great. And I don't know. I just can't do it. I don't even have the time, to be honest, even if I wanted to. I would love to source online. I'm not going to lie. I would love to get into auction houses. Not something I can do right now. And maybe it will be someday. I don't know. We'll see how that, I mean, it could be. Because I'll probably be doing this till I die, guys. That's that. No, I'm kidding. Thank you, Jeannie. What's that? I saw that belt. I did see that belt real quick. It, it, it was pretty. She did that in a short, right? I, I saw that. It's pretty amazing. Okay. Um, these are costume. Let me see. I'm hungry. I'm starting to get hungry, guys. It was a nice belt. I don't know anything about it, but it was nice. Anyways, I have a pair. Of, I have some costume. Three more pairs. I have Florenza with faux pearls. And I have um, crystal. These are gold tone. These are costume earrings. And I fused glass that are, un that looks unusual. I'm not even going to offer those right now. It looks weird. Yeah, I, I'd like to go to auctions. That's what I'm saying. I, I That's something I'd like to do, but I haven't done it as of yet. I don't like like shop Goodwill and stuff. They rip you off. And I mean, I will go there occasionally, but they do rip you off. But um, yeah, those earrings went pretty cheap. I I I mean, they were pretty. Anyways, I have these two pairs of earrings. Those faux pearls are Florenza. And these are crystals. They're gold tone. They're, I don't, don't have a marking on them. I wouldn't suspect um, Swarovski because Swarovski typically does mark their earrings. Um, so I don't know who the maker is. But I think they're both pretty. Let me see. I will, um, there's the, the crystals. You have the, oops, they're blue, green, pink. Okay. If anybody likes the these ones for the crystal ones, um, I'll start them at, at 12, they are um, channel set, and they're their costume, of course. I think this color up top is very beautiful in the rhinestone. There's three crystals in that. I'm tired. It's not even 11 yet, and I'm, I'm tired. I, I don't know if, if I can do three hours. <clears throat> I get exhausted. Well, I mean, it's been long. I've been up since 6.30 at night. I did want to run around. And now I will. Okay. I should. These are costume. Let me go get a drink. Yeah. I mean, you mean online auctions? I'm, I'm scared of them a little bit. But I know people get great stuff. I've considered it. We'll see. I got to wait. I'm going to be rocking a baby on a rocking chair for like probably the next couple of months. But let me go get a drink. I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to go get some water. But I would like to move that way. I know I've seen, I've viewed what was being offered on some of them more than once. And I was tempted, but I never had. I'll be back. I hope you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I have to, I have to invoice probably tomorrow morning. And since the people I have on hold, everybody, but I'm going to wrap the one up that didn't. Um, yeah, you catalog, you put stuff on, you mean to sell where, where you work or whatever. 
I'm going to be done in a minute. I'm tired. I'm, I think I showed everything that I was going to show. Okay. Um, I mean, there's a little bit more if anybody saw anything. <clears throat> I think I sold like three quarters of what I showed. There is like some air climbers here, some Chinese export. Those are like 1970s. If anybody saw anything they were interested in, um, a proxy bid. Oh, you mean you go in and you just put a bid in how high you'll go and see if you win. That's doable. I could do something like that. I mean, is that what a proxy bid is? I don't know what a proxy bid is, honestly. <laughs> All right. I, do have st I don't have any new sterling rings besides what's on my hands, like on this hand. This hand's not for sale. I have these. That is a um, bandit agate. I think this one's antique. It's signed um, sterling underneath. Definitely vintage. That's tiny. I don't know what a proxy is. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, I have to. Um, no, it's okay. I'm just about done. I'm exhausted. I don't know how much more I can do. I was reading. I, I am contemplating it, but I, I like going out and about and looking. And sometimes I find really great things. Sometimes I find mediocre. And sometimes I find sterling, sometimes gold. I don't chase gold. Um, I find it and they don't know it's gold. That's typically what happens for Anna. Um, I get it really cheap. Because like, <laughs> I don't recognize it's gold or diamond. That's how it happens for the most part. I don't chase that. Um, but I like going out and doing it locally. I am starting to get tired, though, um, as of today, mainly. I guess it's, maybe that is another option. But I hear people saying it's terrible, it's hard and a lot of work and you have to like, you're online constantly. I mean, that's what I've heard. So that's what scares me away, to be honest, is the time consuming this. Like when I go shopping, like say if I go tomorrow, I'm going to try to, if not, I'll go Wednesday. I'll go out for like three hours um, and usually sometimes more. I go out two to three days a week. It's, it's slowed down this week because of the birth of the baby. Yeah, thank you. She's pretty adorable. She's a little, she's tiny, little miniature size. Her mom's small. Lori's only five one. So she's she's adorable though. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be going tomorrow in the morning, and then we're gonna go have dinner. I'm gonna make Maury dinner and take it to her because she's missing food from mother or anybody besides hospital food. All right, I think I'm done, guys. Um, if anybody sees anything on here that I showed, email me. There's more. There's a lot more. I'll have a video coming out Wednesday. Um, I'm going to go through the box over there and put some of it in there. And I'm, I'll pull out some of the sterling I have that's been sitting around, too, and I'll put it in that video. Um, some stones, whatever I have laying around. But I'm really beat. I am. I can't deny it. I, I'm pretty i I'm spent. I can't do much more. I'm tired, man. I It's been a long day. 6 a.m. baby held the baby for about two and a half hours walked her it's um ugh. and you know eva shopping all that mom's tired granny gonna go to sleep but thank you for being here guys um i appreciate it i'm going to invoice tomorrow morning okay i'll get up early and um i'll be sending everything out thursday i'll invoice um if you're paid earlier, I can even send it out earlier, especially the people who I've been holding longer. I can, like, work on a couple tomorrow. And this is really beautiful, isn't it? This is starting $1,000. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. It's, it's $1,000. Um, that's the price I came up with on that. Um, 20 karat gold findings and beads and Peruvian opal. Um, it's worth more than that, but... That's the price it came up with it. I probably won't sell it at that. So, Anna will be wearing that for quite some time now. And I really like it. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Give me an email. Um, yeah. I feel like my back's breaking, guys. It's terrible. I'm really running it on right here. <laughs> I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to take his makeup off and then I'll invoice tomorrow, guys. And I I can get some of them out. Like, I'm. there's one person I'm going to get out tomorrow. Um, they paid after I sent stuff out, but the other people, after you pay, I'll try to get it out, uh, 
It'll all go up Thursday. I'll make sure I stay up. All right, guys. Good night. I mean, not that I stay up. I'll make sure I make the time for it. Uh, I'll make the kid walk up the hill. That's what's going to happen, Maury. I mean, Eva, make her walk to school. All right, guys. Good night. Thank you for being here. Love you. Bye.